It's been a long time since we've been back to Bloodborne. I've been on Elden Ring, but it's time to join the hunt yet again. We're doing an all trophies run today. That's all three endings, all weapons, all bosses, except for the bosses we don't need to do, and all chalices, except for all the chalices we don't need to do, and all the other stuff we don't need to do, because you don't actually need to do everything to get the platinum trophy, the 100% trophy in this game. I don't know why they made the decision to do that, but they did. Dravenous Helsing with the 26 month resubscription. Thanks so much, Dravenous. You know what's crazy? I've been playing Elden Ring for like a month, and first time I spool up Bloodborne, I barely even notice it's 30 FPS. Thanks again, Dravenous. What is the one thing that would make this masterpiece even better? My only real major complaint with Bloodborne... Oopsies. Wrong. That's the Elden Ring button. There's two. I think the Celestial Emissary boss fight could have been a lot better. Like the transformation phase. And I think that there's a little bit too much repeat content in some of the chalices. So I, I would basically take away all of the, the repeat bosses, except for a few that have very specific lore reasons and mostly get rid of the hinter tombs because they're kind of unnecessary. But the hinter tombs do does have some unique bosses in there that I would replace with the ones that aren't unique in the other ones. I would also probably scale the, um, I would probably scale the, the chalices with like New Game Plus. Okay, so I'm already, I got four, four gyro control mess ups there. So that's, um, we're going to switch controllers. Okay. Controller switched. Oh, the gyro controls in Bloodborne. I forgot. I forgot all about them. Back to the good old N64 controller. I love that you can turn those off in Elden Ring. Yeah, that, that was not... Oh, did I not go to the right place? Oh, well, we'll just do it again. Dude, I am out of practice. Do you see this? I don't even know how to press the D-pad. Alright, there we go. I remember the first time I played Bloodborne, my brother carried me the whole way. That's one thing you can't relive. That was kind of like um, my first time playing Ocarina of Time. I had gotten up to a point, but my cousin, I watched him play it for a while. It was a wild experience. Because he, he, he was older than me. I think you should just turn the Chalice Dungeons into roguelike format for Bloodborne 2. I don't know about that. Although, like a roguelike from software game isn't the worst idea in the world. Rem with a 15-month resubscription. Thanks so much, Rem. See, see, this is what I need to be like with, with Elden Ring. I need to know where everything is and where to go at all times. And then I'll enjoy it more. So the D-pad on this controller is busted. The D-pad is absolutely busted. It takes a good hard push to get it down. I just gotta remember that. I gotta I gotta order I gotta order more controllers, man. My PS5 controller is out of whack, my N64 controller is out of whack. Nothing is working. Madcap with the 11 month resubscription. Hope you're having a good morning so far. I am. Dark Scatter with the 21 month resubscription as well. Thanks, Dark. Here's to almost two years. Unbelievable, man. Bloodborne Visceral, still best Visceral. Oh, 
Upsies. Fire crotch. Oh, look at these crotch shots. More. Fire crotch number two. Oh, right in the hole, bro. Booty slap. Back to back. Mew. Hey, I'm hitting here. I'm hitting here. What are you doing, man? Damn. What the hell? He almost killed me. I wasn't even paying attention. That could have been bad. Melon Matt with the four month resubscription. Thanks so much, Melon Matt. And JJet with the four month back to back resubscription as well. Thanks for the quattro. Do the mollies do more damage if you directly hit instead of hitting the floor or something? Uh, well, there's there's two there's two types. You get um, you get direct hit damage, and you can also get splash damage. I don't know that I necessarily needed that. Elden Ring's a 10 out of 10 for you, but Bloodborne hits different. It's perfect. Okay, so what you mean is that Elden Ring is a 9 out of 10, and Bloodborne's a 10 out of 10. Well, just, just, you're, you're a little confused with your terminology. So 10 out of 10, that's perfect, okay? So that's Bloodborne. Elden Ring, not perfect, like you just said. 9 out of 10. What is going on with my alerts? Alerts are crazy today, guys. Oh, God. Eldritch, thanks for the 100 bits, man. You watched The Batman over the weekend? What a great movie. Thank, Thank you for the humbling experience, Mitch, and I'm about to get busy at work, so here's my ticket. A.K.A. Rex with the 12,000 bits directly from the ether. Dude, you legend. Everybody... No, that's not Rex. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't even read. Can't even read. That's spicy meatball. Honestly, I saw the red name. I saw, listen, this is what happened. I saw the red name. I saw the amount of bits and I just assumed, I just assumed it was Rex, but that was spicy meatball. Everybody at spicy meatball, give them the Jesus suck, please. Thank you so much for the 12,000 bits. You absolute legend. I'm a D bag. I don't know how to read. It's my fault. It's my fault. Thank you so much, spicy meatball. <laughs> we all make mistakes sometimes. I'll share some of that for timing him out and causing him to give the money. Thanks. All right, I'll, I'll add it to your tab. I owe you some more invisible gum this month. <laughs> Alex shot first with a two month resubscription. Thanks so much, Alex. Oh, I need my rally, baby. Oh, what's that smell? The sweet blood. Oh, it seems to me. It's that was not very good. Sick. <laughs> oh, I'm out of practice, boys. I'm out of practice. Double damage molly time is my favorite time, though. And I still got the shot. Have you played this game or something before? No, this is a very first playthrough. Like every game I play, man, I'm usually ungodly good at them. I always get the platinum trophy in one, in one playthrough for every single game, no matter how long it takes. I go for every single trophy. And I haven't failed yet. 
Yo, Henley, good morning. Good morning. Fa fa Ooh, a chest. Favorite theme for me? Oh, Gascoigns is pretty good. The only thing with Gascoigns is it doesn't loop very well. I guess they figured you'd never get to the end of the, the music. <laughs> Must be hard being this perfect, the weight you carry. Actually, it's you guys who carry me. Yowzers, good morning. Aw, he loves us. Hey, blood god, hope you're doing well. I didn't mean to, like, you know, patronize you with that voice. It just sort of happened. Okay, chat, what origin would you recommend for someone that is trying Bloodborne for the first time? Or should you not ask advice and just YOLO it? Yes, do that, man. Just play the... Seriously. Play the game however the hell you want to play. Don't ask for advice. Don't ask for tips. Don't look up a guide. Just go through blind, deaf, and dumb like the rest of us and enjoy your first playthrough without anybody else altering it. Take this. Griffraff with the gifted subscription. Thank you so much. Have you seen any of the images of Bloodborne as an 80s fantasy movie? No, I haven't seen those. How do you beat Godskin Duo? So here's my strat for Godskin Duo. You want to utilize the, uh, the columns to your advantage. So sort of stand behind one column until you can sort of separate them. Like make them go, make the fat one go to the right make the skinny one go to the left, and then attack the fat one. That's what you want to do. So you, you're not having to deal with both of them at the same time. I love to use jumping attacks while dual wielding weapons because it does the most amount of damage, and it gives you potential to stagger, which is very, very important. So take out the first one, and then try to take out the second one before he summons up the, 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 the other guy again, and just rinse and repeat. I don't- I wouldn't use sleep pots or anything like that. I- I think that's unnecessary. When that boss first came out, it was definitely- definitely overtuned because you could not split them apart. But they- they actually nerfed it to the point where you can split them up. And the boss is- is actually fairly fair now. It doesn't irritate me like how it did on my first playthrough. Fire Giant and Gideon irritate me far more than than Godskin Duo does. And suffice it to say, I'm actually starting to like Godskin Duo. If you kill one, keep hitting him, you still deal damage. Is that true? Wow, I didn't know that. Learn something new every day, I guess. Four kings style? Wait, you could do that to four kings? Now, how long, how long can you hit them after? Are we talking about like one attack, two attacks, five attacks, 12? How long does it last? Two or three hits? That's crazy. I never knew that. One or two hits, three hits? Interesting. It's significant? Yeah. I might fail this because I, I had the gyro controls on and I couldn't, I usually start this, this playthrough up by getting the cleaver and the ax, but I couldn't get both of them. So this, I might die here. We'll see. Go to the corner and make God's skin go invisible. Much easier to kill them. I should think you still have dreams. Well, the next time you dream, give some thought. To the hunt and its purpose. Ah, good luck, dude. Thanks, Grateful. Thanks. I, I told you that was going to happen. I'm not re I wasn't going to reset, though. So we're just going to deal with it. I got the lamp. No big deal. Do it again, right?
Why did they cut it? They didn't cut it. What they did was they sped up the, uh, the load times. They sped up the load times. So in, in the process of speeding up the load times, because everyone was complaining about it, what, what ended up happening was it shortened that the time that characters get to speak. So it, it essentially sort of eliminated a line of dialogue. <laughs> Shrifty with the 10 month resubscription. Hello to the blood god himself. Hope you're doing well, man. Zeus had incredible pizza on Fridays. Ooh, I could. I, I actually had really good pizza on Saturday. Hera, Hera went up to her, her family's and she brought back some Di Lorenzo's tomato pie with spinach, garlic, and mushrooms. Delicious. We consumed the whole thing. We should have gotten two pies. One for that day, one for the next day. Hey, Casavia. Switchblade. Welcome in. Got him. I'm the best at this game. Nobody does it better. Pizza with gonchale burst, olives and artichokes, and balsamic glazed drizzle. You know, I'd try it. It seems a little, like, much to me, but I I'd try it. It's, it. it's at least all Italian ingredients, so I, I could give it a go. I love artichokes, man. My mom made the best artichokes. I had pizza with ranch instead of sauce. It was good. That's a 10 minute time. You know what? I'm not going to time you out. I'm just going to run ads for that. Yeah, that's, that's ads. I'll just run ads. That's fine. I need this ritual blood up here on this altar. We're just going to snatch it. There we go. And let us move on. Pizza with barbecue sauce is the best. Okay, guys, guys, I was in a good mood and now you're putting me into a bad mood. Stop, stop trashing my culture. Okay, stop it. Stop it. Shifty thriffling with the 10 month tier two resubscription. Thank you so much, Shifty. Hearing pizza be referenced as a tomato pie strangely warms my soul. Whew, that was close. I don't know about barbecue sauce, but I had pickle pizza the other day, and with the dill sauce... Um, I need it. I need it. I need it. I need another jab. I need another jab. I need, I, I need another jab. Is anybody, is, is there like game companies out there hiring or, or journal, I, something. I need something else. How dare you miss my resub? People are talking about crazy pizzas. I, 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 can't, I can't be focusing here. Oh, my D-pad is really screwed up. Wow. That's why this controller was in the, uh, in the back of the cabinet, being unused. Grateful with a brand new subscription. Welcome in. Thanks for that brand new sub. Emily Snow with the 39 month resubscription as well. Thanks, Emily. Of course, she transforms right there. I'm dead. Oh, I can't believe she transformed right there. I, 
I ate a New York style pizza and it was enormous. You can get some big pies in New York. There's a place in like on South Street in Philly. I think it's called Lorenzo's. They make a giant, like they give you giant slices. Big time. Still got it, boys. Still got it. Might have died to Susie's skin flaps, but I just wasn't paying attention. But I still can do skips first try after not doing them forever. I've seen your lore runs on YouTube. I really love your narrating style and voice. Thanks, Grozny. If they ever make a Bloodborne 2 or a Bloodborne PC, I'll do another one. Ice called Fefe, right? All right, no hits. Perfect. All right, got the double double. Run back, we get it, we get it, we get it. Ooh, just got it. I didn't go for the double-double. I thought I had too much distance to reach. All right, much better. There we go. Slightly cleaner. Yeah, it's always better when you don't die, right? Started up Neo 2. It's actually really good. Dude, I've been telling you. I've been telling you. It's amazing. Neo 2 is unbelievable. Awesome to see a Bloodborne run after a while. Yeah, I, I felt like just having kind of a chill gameplay day where I kind of knew what I was doing and where I was going. It's funny that we decided to go into the chalices. Zeus, you've gotten me to stop using the lock-on feature in Souls games a lot less. I've definitely noticed my playstyle has changed since I've been watching you. Happy to help, man. Happy to help. There's definitely... I definitely recommend a hybrid style when it comes to playing these games because quite frankly certain bosses are better to fight with lock-on and other bosses are better to fight without it so learning to fight with both is an imperative skill if you want to get good at the game better than neo oh neo 2 is better than neo in every single way every single way with that said the original Neo has a few bosses in it and a few levels in it that I think are worth playing. And the combat system in Neo is so much more complex relative to Dark Souls that I recommend you learn and play the original Neo first because Neo 2 has even more systems for you to manage. And let's be real, they'll bog you down. They'll bog you down. Autumn. Three trophies in less than three minutes. This guy must be some kind of speedrunner. Oh, God, no. I'm definitely not a speedrunner. Joker the Royale with a 16 month resubscription. Thanks, Joker. Cool. That sucked. I duped it, but I was I was dumb. I duped it, but I was dumb. Oh, that's that really sucks. 
Because now I don't have an extra fire paper. Uh, I had the wrong thing up on my menu. What a rookie mistake, bro. I used to be good at this game. Yuki Ona is one of your favorite bosses in Neo. Yeah, Hino, Enma, Yuki Ona. They should be in Neo too. But they're not. Paper's probably gonna run out sometime soon. I thought the first Neo boss was kind of a, un iconic. Onyoroki? He is. He's a Neo too, a bunch. I can't be whiffing like that, man. I need I need to eat this. She's going to heal. Dude. Just kill it! <laughs> oh, not having that fire paper actually made that a tough fight. I had to use that pellet. I had to. Oh, that was rough. <laughs> see, one stu- Like, if you got speedrunning strats, you see how easy it makes bosses, right? Get rid of the speedrunning strats. Get rid of a buff. Suddenly, you are going to get demolished if you don't play perfectly. You got it done, though? Eh, thankfully. It's so crazy how much extra damage the fire paper does. Oh, it does a lot, especially against Amelia, because, you know, you're so early level, so it's significant. And Amelia's weak to fire as well, so you get kind of a double, a double buff from it. And then that stacks with the beast blood pellets as well, too. You had a lot of trouble with Amelia early playthroughs. That's Amelia is one of the bosses that is is brutalized on regular new game by a lot of people. But if you fight her max new game, she's one of the toughest bosses in the game. So it's it's not really uh you you don't have to feel any sort of shame from having a tough time with her. Is the serrated damage from the saw cleaver significant? It does. It deals extra damage. It's one of the reasons why the saw cleaver does more, more damage than pretty much anything else DPS wise. I remember. I think I'm the only person who believed Lawrence was harder than Orphan. No, my first. It took me a, a longer to beat Lawrence than it did Orphan. My first playthrough. Lawrence Lawrence is the kind of boss though that becomes very predictable like Amelia does once you know all the moves. Whereas Orphan is is remains his he remains erratic. So Orphan as you play the game more will retain more difficulty whereas you'll get better and better at at Lawrence. I was like, what am I doing? There we go. And I need just two of these. Let's, I'll, 
My D-pad is broken. Lawrence and Orphan still crush you, as they should. I just... That was awful. What am I doing? It, does, it doesn't matter. I forgot I picked up extras. So I bought too many bloodstone shards. No big deal. Uh, let me just buy some extra blood while I'm here. Might as well. Okay. Zeus, what do you think the heart would be the hardest rando bosses to deal with in a shadows fight? Um, Moon presence mixed with like Ebrietis, Lawrence, and. Like second phase Gascoigne or a Gehrman, something like that that chases you down. Ah! Genichiro is really hard at first, but it gets really predictable later on. Exactly. Genichiro is essentially like the first, the first real boss, right? He's, he requires you to know how to play the game. But he's not difficult once you actually know how to play the game. Something like Owl and, and Sword Saint Ishin are so much more difficult. That's kind of why I always get a kick. Like when people ditch Sekiro at Genichiro, I always get a big kick from it. Because it's kind of like, well, that's... It's kind of the tutorial boss, bro. Ooh. A little quick turnaround there. You ditched Sekido on the horse guy? That's a shame. Second was a fun game, but you struggle so much with it. The struggle is is my joy. I I love the entire process of playing Sekido and getting good at Sekido. Love it. You always feel sorry for Parl. I wish he was a bit stronger. Is the randomizer still out of commission? It doesn't work. I can't get it to run on my PC. Hopefully the new PC when I get it in will allow me to set up new seeds by myself without re relying on Newman because we know how that went. My freebies, thank you. <laughs> this guy's guarding my beast. Ooh, nice move! <laughs> nice move, perfect timing. Newman taught us all a valuable lesson. Celestial Lucid with a thousand bits. Mirai is the only boss I will consistently die to because I'll always get cocky with my parry. But that sounds like you're having fun. <laughs> I realized I was not going to make that. 
The ladder was definitely not going to protect me there. Oh, I was hoping for a blood vial there. What was the hardest boss your first playthrough? Well, you know, Lawrence, New Game Plus 3 was the first time I fought him. It was either 3 or 4. Oh, actually, no, that's a lie. It was Defiled Amygdala. Defiled Amygdala took me the, the most attempts. I lied. Mirai is the only boss I will consistently wow. die to because Four HP. I'll always get cocky with my parrying. Oh, three. I was wrong. <laughs> Defiled watchdog for you. Oh, he was up in there. Well, how quaint. Oh, I didn't even jump there. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? What is Madaris whistle? Doesn't count for the trophy? You'll have to ask Miyazaki, man. I don't know. <laughs> there's there's a bunch of things that you don't need. So I don't I don't know who made that decision or why. Your toughest boss with the bloodletting beast? I can see that. He gives a lot of people a lot of difficulty. It was added later to the game with Valter. Yeah, but still, there's a there's a there is a trophy for DLC stuff. But I guess they just didn't add it to it. That makes sense. It does make sense. Because I do need DLC weapons, but I don't need DLC tools. There's a tro that that's what it is. There's a trophy for the DLC weapons, but not DLC tools. Hey, Katie, I have seen it. It looks pretty sick. Still one of my favorite fights in any video game, man. Oh, that fight is so good. Shadows fight so stressful and no hit runs. You don't have to tell me that. <laughs> Hey, Gray, how are you doing, man? All right, let's see if we could avoid the call beyond here. Ah, she didn't even give it to us, so no big deal. As you mentioned before, Zeus, one of the most balanced multi-enemy fights. I think it is the most balanced by far. Uh, the, only, the only issue with it is sometimes those snake tendrils go through that big giant gravestone. Cat attack with the 14 month Twitch Prime resubscription. Hope you're doing well, cat attack. Thanks for the 14 months. Oh, I didn't get the... I am so dead. 
I didn't get the goddamn key, bro. I and now I'm really dead. Oh, I'm the best. I'm the best. I can't. I can't. Be, I cannot be stopped. <laughs> okay, Goomba stomped. You're dead. No, no misting me. No misting me. Ah! Stop it, bro. Quit out. Thanks again, Celestial. Thanks again, Cat Attack. Joker the Royale with a 16-month resubscription. F Jury Esquire with a seven-month Twitch Prime. I miss those. Thank you guys. Smart Lurker with a 14-month resubscription as well. Thank you. Six 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 on the damage. You saw it. Good morning, MBK. Wow. That was totally fine. I didn't almost die there. Definitely not. Line ourselves on the moon dial. She should be right there. <laughs> wow. Oh, and it didn't even give me the instant warp? You wench. You defiled wench. What's for lunch? I've got either... I've got either leftover orange chicken I could eat or leftover spinach and farfalle with a gorgonzola cheese sauce that I made last night. Rom holding on for dear life. That would have been a better comment to make for Amelia, because she's a deer demon. It's like you've done this once or twice before. Just eh, three or four times. Wife made chicken soup and bread from scratch right now. Oh, dude, that sounds so good. I haven't had chicken soup in a long, long ass time. Send me some. You're so hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry now. You're gonna go write a cover letter? See you later, bacon tea. Hi, ya uh, Hey, Uncle Roger. Do you have any tips for Gascoigne? This is gonna sound... You wanna, you wanna dodge his attacks and then hit him. If he hits you, depending on the weapon, you, you might be able to hit him back real quick to get some of your health back. I, that, that's really what Bloodborne is. You just, you just gotta dodge him and then hit him. If they hit you, try to hit them back if it's safe to do so. Get some health back and then heal up. Don't attack when you're at full stamina. I am so dead.
Don't attack at full stamina. That's not what I meant. Don't attack it with with low stamina. My bad. God, this area is always just the worst. Compare, okay. Now, this is what I mean. Remember I was talking about how like the run-throughs in Elden Ring were just boring? Like, this entire game so far, and especially in this area, I've had to super focus just to get through the the, the level. Everything is chasing me down, it's running at me, it's, it's gonna kill me if it hits me. Elden Ring doesn't really have that. Wow, that was terrible. Need to be at full health here. I mean, it, the game just, the game just made me stuck. Just made me stuck. I feel like the only areas you can't really run through in Elden Ring are the dungeons. Everywhere else is just fine to go. You could even run through the dungeons. I mean, but the dungeons are a little bit tougher because of those stupid statue guys, right? Oh, I don't need to do this. <laughs> there we go. Statue guys? Yeah, the, the imps or whatever they're called. They're, they're statues and then they, they're like gargoyles. And they come alive. It's alive! All right, round two. Wow, dude. How bad can your RNG be? Unbelievable. <laughs> Roll one, the other one comes in. Unbelievable. Oh my God. It doesn't stagger. I need the double hits. I'm getting them. Fine. Oh my god, if that hit me, I was dead. Okay.
I'm doing a platinum run for every From Software game I have. I platinum Elden Ring, Dark Souls currently, finishing the last Covenant farm from Dark Souls 3, then platinuming it. Afterward, I'll do Sekiro. I'll say Bloodborne for last. I like the way you think. Bloodborne's just the best. Bloodborne has water professors. Nothing else has water professors. I don't know how I did it, but I managed to skip the nightmare phase of wet nurse. Here's the strat to do it. I'm lock on to her. Notice that she's gonna go in an upward motion and then a purple orb is going to appear. As soon as that purple orb appears, you're gonna dash twice in a row, as fast as you can, dash, dash. And if you do it at the right timing, you'll be able to uh, skip the nightmare phase. We're just gonna jump quit out here. How hard is it to farm dungeon items for Bloodborne chalices? I mean, if we're talking about like specific items, you can go to specific chalices that have them. Go to bloodborne-wiki.com and you'll see, you'll see the location of every single chalice item you could possibly want. If we're talking about certain gems, if you're looking for perfect gems, it'll take you a while. You don't really need perfect gems though. You could, you could get away with having gems that are just really good and it'll still be monstrously powerful. But if you're looking for perfect gems, it's gonna take you a long time. A long, long time. If you're looking for just ge gems that are really, really good, good enough, it'll take you a decent amount of time, but you might get lucky as well. Something like perfect blood gems will take you <laughs> way too long, way too long. But if you're looking for like 27% physical gems, that won't take that long at all. I could have gotten another level, but it's okay. I made chili last night and I can't wait to use it during the week for all sorts of things. Chili sounds good. Perfect arcane gem farming was fun. It was. I didn't I don't think I even got perfect ones though. Oh, Katie, I saw on Twitter you were asking for, like, advice on how to get to sleep. My advice, if you want it, I'll give it to you anyway. My advice would be to, like, exhaust yourself with physical exercise. Like, really, really exhaust yourself. Either, like... I don't know if you like go out and do like gardening for an entire day or just like go to the gym and and run and do cardio or like just physically exhaust yourself. Every time I physically exhaust myself with with exercise, I just I fall asleep so easy. So easy that night. Swimming is great for that. Oh, swimming would t would destroy me, I bet. <laughs> Wrapped around. Very true, but don't exercise too close to bed. Yeah, like, before before that, obvi obviously.
swimming's great for your posterior. Oh, I don't need to work on my posterior, trust me. Spider Nuke with the 18 month resubscription. Thanks so much, Spider Nuke. That was insane. Freaking Haymaker from a Vander Holyfield, dude. Jesus Christ. Mikolash knows about cardio. Oh, majestic! You love that tentacle move? Yeah, it's the auger of Ebrietis. What fight would you consider gimmicky in Bloodborne? Well, this fight has a gimmick to it. Uh, which of Hemwick has a gimmick to it? Right? The, the gimmick in this one is you're the hunter, he's the prey, he's running away from you. You got to uh, get him into the right room so you can actually fight him. With Witch of Hemwick, you've got the, the two witches and the invisibility to contend with. Um, outside of that, those are, those, these are the only two real gimmick fights in the game, I'd say. Or fights with gimmicks in them, anyway. Ah! Oh. Now, now I'm waking up. Oh, I'll forget yeah, everything. <laughs> Sorry, Newman. My mistake. I misspoke. In the witch fight, you have no insight. She can't summon the mobs to fight you. Yeah, but, like, why would you do that? That just seems... That's cheap. Because, first off, in order to do that, you gotta, you gotta go into the witch fight and warp out and then go back again. So, just... I just... I just fight her. The mobs aren't that hard to deal with. Watching you own these bosses just doesn't get old, and we'll be like this on Elden Ring soon enough, trust me. You like wearing that cage on your head? It's just one of the coolest helmets ever. This game doesn't have any bosses that require specific weapons? No. Oh, gee, boss. This game doesn't require you to specifically do anything. It's great. <laughs> Does any Souls game? Yeah, Demon Souls requires you to fight Storm King with the Storm Ruler, or some sort of magic. Uh, Yorm in Dark Souls 3, right? Rikard in Elden Ring. And I don't mind, and I, just for the record, I don't mind fights like that. Yorm is, is my least favorite. Probably. I think Yorm is just like, is just so basic and generic. I don't like him. But Storm King on the Demon Souls uh, remaster was so freaking good. Just because of the sound. <laughs> Yorm's way too easy. Yeah, it's, it really is. You don't have to even think to beat Yorm. 
You, yeah, you can kill Rike. Same thing. You can kill Yorm with any weapon as well. It just takes forever. You know, but the game wants you to do it a certain way. Drag like Dragon God, I don't mind. Dragon God, you know, use your brain, right? Dragon God requires you to do what? Run when he's not looking and press a, press a button twice. You know, it's, it's cool visually. Makes you use your brain a little bit. Obviously not the most difficult thing in the world. Honey Blunts with the 31 month resubscription. Thanks, Honey Blunts. You find different bosses like that interesting? I would rather the game have one or two of those than not. Right? I Like, I like the Mikalash fight. I like Witch of Hemlock. I like Dragon Guy. I like Storm King. I like Riker. They break it up. They, they make you do something a little bit different. I, I really like stuff like that. Splotch with the 55 month resubscription. Thanks, Splotched. Hope you're doing well, man. I'm gonna take an ad break here. It just seems like the perfect time. So that's the living string that we'll need for the, um, the chalice later on. Divine Dragon and Sekiro. There's another beautiful one. Love that boss. Even though he always pisses me off every time I fight him. Dead Last with a seven month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks, Dead Last. Seath has a gimmick. I don't I don't consider that a gimmick. Um he's he's got he's got a, a crystal that you gotta destroy. You know, that that's 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 if that's a gimmick, that's the, the least amount of gimmick possible, right? It not, it doesn't that doesn't really define a, a gimmick to me. He's got he's got a, a an alternative clear condition. Like you know what you know what's a gimmick? I would say it's, it's along the same vein, right? But with with the fool's idol in Demon Souls, you gotta kill that that NPC. Otherwise, she just keeps respawning. That's, I would say that's a slight more gimmick than the Seath one, because in Seath, it's, it's literally right there. It shows it to you in the cutscene. The clam entering the fight is a gimmick. <laughs> uh, I don't have a beast blood pellet. Oh, well, let's just do it anyway. We'll do it live! I deserve that. You, you cannot attempt to hit first there. Too far. Damn. Dodged it. See? See the orb? Then you dodge twice. Gotta make sure you're locked on now. Taking notes on all boss fights. Happy to help. You didn't know that was possible? Stick around. When I play Bloodborne, I'll show you lots of things here and there. 
damn, Sekiro is a cool game, but I have to XP grind for 20 points for the platinum. Free, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a recommendation on how to do that, where it's more fun. Just play the game. Just, just play the game. Don't, don't grind. Don't fight the same enemies over and over. Don't farm. Just play the game. Go from boss to boss to boss, and eventually you'll get it, man. That, that, don't, don't worry about it. That's what I did. I just kept playing, and eventually I got it without even realizing it. Because it is, it is a little bit on the, on the tedious side. If, if you were to, like, farm it, specifically. But you get, you get so many more skill points for beating bosses than normal enemies, so it's just, it, I think it's just worth it to do it that way. Do you have a scripted Parl kill by chance? Honestly, you could just go back into this VOD. I did it, I, I'm pretty sure I did it flawlessly with, I didn't even use, uh, I didn't even use, a uh, fire paper. So yeah, you could uh, you could go on this VOD and get it. Just rewind a bit. Or any of my uh, my my all trophies runs or should have it too. Any speed run. Oh, I gotta go past the water professors here. Yeah, for Parl, yeah, you focus on one leg until it staggers, then go to another leg. Rinse and repeat. It was like 10 seconds. <laughs> headless first time was creepy. I didn't actually kill a headless for f until very, very recently. Headless are awesome. They're so cool. The underwater ones are stupid as hell, though. Hey, Miss Latina. I thank you so much for all your help and insight you gave me through my watch time. I'm glad I'm a part of your community. Been for a while. Glad to have you, man. Happy to help. Let's get this. Before I go to the boss, there's an item, a hunter's tool I need to get. So we'll go do that first. The Nightmare of Mensis is your second favorite area in the game. See, favorite area in the game is so hard for me because every area is so integral to the entire game. I couldn't imagine the game without anything. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You see all those baby messengers under the Cosbeast? Rare attack. Rare attack. That's one of only two enemies in the game that has messengers attached to it. The second one being right in front of us, the Winter Lantern right there. I'm dead. Oh, it actually didn't, the Frenzy didn't, uh, I thought it was going to go much faster. I love how he stopped to point it out, as if we're on a Bloodborne Safari. If you look to your left, you'll see a Cosbeast. Now, this is an ultra version of the Cosbeast. You can see baby messengers that were eaten underneath it. Uh, do I know how to do this? Do I remember? We'll try. <laughs> Steve Irwin of Bloodborne. Those shark enemies are pretty unnecessary. No, they're totally necessary. The feeling you get in Central Yarnum is unparalleled. Yeah, it's such a good area to open up. Well, that was a failure. I think it was too far to the right. Hold on. I used to be able to literally just run up to this and do it immediately. 
That's way too late. I could definitely see Zeus as a Bloodborne Safari tour guide. <laughs> Okay, I think, no, if I'm doing something wrong, is I'm going too far to the right. Getting rusty, I just, I wanna, I wanna remember what I'm, what I'm failing here. I think I'm going too far to the right, let's see. Maybe my camera angle is wrong too. Hmm. There it is. Yeah, I was going too far to the right. Oh, and I don't have... Oh, okay, we're going to have to fight Amygdala. No pellets, no paper. Remind me to go through the woods. I need stuff, guys. I need stuff. This is going to take forever now. This fight is going to take so damn long. Jesus. Whiff. Crotch shot. Crotch shot. Crotch shot. Crotch shot. Crotch shot. Crotch shot. For the kill. Yeah, see, like I said, that took a long time. Why so long? <laughs> You're literally the boss. They don't call me the blood god for nothing. Quick, somebody call me the blood god so it doesn't look like I'm, I have an ego. Oh, I don't want those. There, that's what I want. Cool. Well, what's next? Uh, Forbidden Woods. Forbidden Woods. <laughs> the Italian great one. Oh, hello. Oh, I forgot I killed Walter. Well, I didn't kill Walter. He he killed himself. It wasn't my fault. Scooch. Oh, no scooch. I'm rusty. Oh, am I rusty? That's pretty embarrassing. I'm just going to go and get some extra beast bloods here, just in case. It's kind of nifty. You can get them through the door or the wall. <laughs> if you're ever looking for some extras that are convenient. <laughs> I'm embarrassed for you. <laughs> Oh my god, I should be embarrassed. Jeez, he's a legend. The back door of all doors, it's my favorite door. What insignia do you need to be... F to buy fire and lightning papers. So you gotta beat Parl for lightning. And if you go to the upper cathedral ward, you don't need the upper cathedral ward key. It's right before the door. 
There's a chest up in the top level. If you open that chest, you'll get the badge for fire paper. Oh, look at this. Ladders. There they are. The beautiful ladders. I should probably heal. Does the probably need to be there? It does not. I was trying to take mental notes about your run for when I play and I can officially say I've been lost already. I'm gonna recommend not to do that anyway, man. So much part of the fun in this game is getting lost and figuring out where to go and seeing how interconnected everything is. I, 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 would, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I did my first arcane run recently. Didn't get to use the auger though. Ooh, didn't want to level up too high. The auger is so, like using the auger of Ebrietis with the cause parasite and the milkweed rune. That's, that's peak Bloodborne gaming. Peak gaming in general, honestly. Popping out in Yarnum after the woods ladder is so cool. Yep. Bloodborne is linear. From's level design is perfect. I, I, I have coined the term half open or half closed. Some, some people are, are game half open, game half closed kinds of people, you know? These games aren't linear, nor are they completely open. Half open, half closed. But I find the experience to be perfect. Bloodborne movement is the best. Oh, yeah. The dashes. The dashes. Are you a half open or half closed person then? It depends which version of me you're talking to at that given time. Uh, Witch of Hemwick? Sure. Bloodborne's cool how it's interconnected, but I still think Dark Souls had the best interconnected levels. I see them on similar levels, man. I see them on, on very similar levels. They do, they do basically the same thing. In terms of interconnectedness. But if you prefer one over the other, it doesn't really matter to me. Dark Souls blew your mind on so many occasions. That's a coincidence, because your mom blew my mind on so many occasions. And if you're getting pegging into the equation or not, wait, wait, wait. Now we're getting sexual. What's happening here? Zeus, what's the creepiest area for you in Bloodborne? The research hall gave me bad vibes. Oh yeah, the research hall is where you can really see what was going on in this game, right? Because you still you still have patients there that are, are you know, it's a horror show. They're terrified, they're scared, they're begging for help and mercy. You really get to imagine what everybody else was going through. Oh, he got me. I love the cackling. Oh, gave her the zig and the zag. She had no idea what to do with it. Just blood god things. Meow. Yeah. 
Why you? Ah, a dog. Remember that stream where people complained about us talking about about pegging, even though we did it for like over an hour. <laughs> Yeah, telling me to stop talking about something will just make me talk about it more. I can never dodge that damn dog. You see what I did there? I acted- I just baited. I acted like I was going straight for the steps, and then bam, zigzag. Just a little- little- a little bit of a back turn there. Bam. Oh, I missed the barrel. Oh, well. Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot something. What was the most challenging run you did in Bloodborne? I mean, the, the first no-hit run took like three weeks, two and a half weeks. That's probably the longest amount of time I've ever spent on one run. Outside of that, My, I don't know, my first BO4 run was probably, uh, maybe a week. Nah, the dual guns only took a day. Tickets! Tickets, please! Two days, actually. I love how Mitch knows my content better than me. I love it. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed your ride on the magic school bus today. Agrapinos with the ticket, Miss Latina with the ticket, Lord Nikon, Jen Lu, Dark Side of Lin, Weird Energy, Blog, Swoop Bandy, Virtuous, Fable Moon, Lobigan, Uber Willow with the double ticket, Balanced Paw with the ticket, Charles Zane with the quintuple ticket. Mark J, L James, thank you guys so much. Agrapinos, Haunted Panels with the Quintuple Ticket, and a Tarot with the Cento Ticket. That's 100 tickets paying for all you filthy freeloaders. Jesus, a Tarot. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Seriously. The generosity today. Thank you, a Tarot. 
The Chendo Ticket. Legit question, how long did it take for you to time up and figure out the Magic School Bus song? Uh, I just did it live in improv one day. And we've just been rolling since then. One thing that you guys might not realize is that one thing that I'm inherently good at, like on an uncanny level, is is syncing up music with video. It's a, it's, a, it's, it's a very good skill that I have that I don't utilize at all because... Well, I used to, but I can't run music on Twitch anymore. Like, I used to do it a lot, all the time with a lot of different things. I just, I just can't do it, I just can't do it anymore because of DMCA strikes and everything. If we're in the car, and say, say we're like four and a half minutes from home, I will, without even thinking about it, I will choose a song that'll take four and a half minutes to play through. I don't, and it's not like I know the amount of time that it'll take. It's just like this innate ability that I have to know how much time is left. I'm like the buzzer beater champion in basketball. Opposite Khan with the KO Ken times five gifted subscription. Hitting me with a sub cannon straight to the solar plexus. You goddamn legend. Thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Aprox with the two month Twitch Prime resubscription as well. Glad you're enjoying the channel enough to resubscribe. Thank you. The Dark Side of the Blood Moon run was that run synced up with Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon was the best that I've seen you do. Yeah, I wish I could do that again, man. Ah, That was so cool. <laughs> How many hours do you have in Bloodborne? Over 7k. I've, I've played this game a lot. This boss is dope. There's there's absolutely no reason to dislike this boss. He's awesome. He doesn't have enough HP on new game now. Just not enough HP. It's like I'm playing Elden Ring now, man. Here's the line. She's going to say the line. Visitor. Moon scented hunter. Uh, well, well. Moon scent, baby. Moon scent. We await thy return. Your hardest boss was definitely Orphan of Cause. Understandable. Is it a possibility to get all the trophies without a guide? Um, yeah, that, like it's de it's definitely possible, but you know that there's some items that you need to pick up. You might miss one or two, right? But it's definitely 100% possible.
Oh, I should have gotten more blood. I still can. Easy. Does killing the doll change or do anything? It basically will reset all of her dialogue points from the beginning each time you do it. But that's all it'll do. The moon smells like gunpowder? Yes, it does. Which is a very uh, bloodborne thing. Wow, they actually didn't shoot me. It's crazy. Hey, John 8. Hey, Jess. This is the badge that you need for the fire paper. I know someone asked before. So you can, you can get that badge pretty early too because you don't need to get the upper cathedral ward key to open that chest. Hey Zeus, I love you. You better. Why did you? Oh, I thought you deleted the uh, the uh, the the I love you message. It was the Bloodborne Two message. <laughs> oh, I don't have the. I didn't buy the Kirk hammer. It's okay. We'll have to go the long way. Hey Rex Wrath, how's it going, man? Zeus, quick question. Did you play God of War Ragnarok? I, I played some of it. I eventually ditched it because it wouldn't let me play the game. Not being able to skip cutscenes, not being able to skip the, the two-hour dialogue sections, not being able to avoid any of the stupid... There, there's literally an option in the game to avoid all the combat by pressing easy mode, but there's no option in the game to avoid all the dialogue and cutscenes, and I find that to be atrocious, because some of us just want to play the game. So I ended up ditching it, which is a shame, because I, I liked playing it when it would let me play it. I really did. I, I thought they did a, a be much better job with enemy variety and boss variety, but it just, they wouldn't let me play the game for hours on end. Corrupt Pharaoh with the 26 month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks, Pharaoh. Oh. I, I just think it's a sad state of affairs where you buy video games for $70. They're not even upgraded to next gen because it was just a PS4 game that I could play on PS5. And they don't let me play them. Video games that refuse to let me play them. Probably one of my, my biggest, what's the word? Disgusts? Air Turtle with the four month resubscription. Goat of streaming, you know it. Thanks Air Turtle. Yeah, I don't like the word pet peeve, it's stupid. It's two words, but I don't like, I don't like the word combination. Ripe? I don't like that either. It's like a, it's like a unripe grape. <laughs> if Bloodborne has only one flaw. This boss is the flaw.
such an awesome game, then out of nowhere, aliens, they're not aliens. Nothing in Bloodborne is an alien. A lot of, a lot of people get that wrong. Bloodborne is an intelligent, mycological or mycorrhizal organism. It's not aliens. Everything in Bloodborne was either an animal or a human at one time. Oh, that's... That's a mistake. Oopsies. Oh, I'm stuck in the gooch pocket. Oh, I'm stuck in the gooch pocket. Really? Huh. Okay. Well, I guess we're doing that again. <clears throat> I thought that was a good dodge. Might have been a little bit too far away, though. Okay. Can't win them all. I screwed that up by, uh, by screwing up the stagger anyway. Do you have the desire to participate in a GDQ again with the game? Yes. I would love to go back to GDQ. I, I want GDQ to be in person, though. And I also need them to accept my, my, my application. Because I did apply two or three times and they didn't accept me. But I, I would definitely go back. I want to do it in person, though. I love, I love the energy that I get from a crowd behind me. I'm fairly good at public speaking and I just get so much energy from a crowd. If I were to do it again, I definitely want it to be in person. Did you stick with one weapon your first run? I picked a... Ooh, I freak... Did I pick the axe? I think I picked the axe and then I switched to a, a tinnitus. And then I use the tinnitus. I finished the game with a plus six tinnitus. It was brutal. You were far more entertaining during your GDQ runs than most of the runners. So many need a good couch to be entertaining, but you do it all. Yeah, people, my, my first GDQ run, people were saying the couch basically didn't talk at all. It's a great game, but some quality of life changes would be super nice. I hate limited heals with a passion. Get good. You're not you're not changing one of the greatest aspects of my game because you don't want to get good at it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm not allowing that, bro. I'm not allowing that. You get 20 healing items when you start this game. 20. In Dark Souls, you get 5. Come on. 20, you can get 32 healing items at one time playing this game if you use the communion runes. 32. A after a certain point, you have to recognize if you're using 20 blood vials to beat a boss, you're not really, you're not really good at the boss, right? You're just, you're just getting hit and hitting them enough times where you can heal yourself. That was close. You like the healing in this and in Demon Souls? In Demon Souls, Demon Souls is cool, man, because you get the different levels. I w that's one thing that I wish that there was in this game, like different, more different types of blood. Put your head down. Thank you. Yeah, 
You have Yosefka and the other Saints. Yeah, I, lo I love that. What I'm asking for is basically just even more, you know? Just even more. Same thing with, like, the transformations, right? You get the, the Beast Embrace rune on the Beast Claw, and you get the Milkweed rune with the Cos Parasite, and you get these awesome transformations. I, I want more of that. That stuff is awesome. It's so cool. Ah, uh, 421. That sucks. Shame they didn't use any transformations in Elden Ring. Love Elden Ring, but there there are some there's some disappointments about it for me. There are. But it's still one of the best games I've ever played, so. Love the concept of trick we weapons. Yeah, you you're you're in the right place, man, because pretty much all of us just want trick weapons in every from software game. <laughs> At least I know I do. Demon Souls is one of your favorites in the series. It's so good. And the remaster really was done well. It'd be nice if they added a mechanic that makes your character addis addicted to blood. Like, that's actually pretty cool. Like, you get blood drunk. Yeah, you'd have to you would have you would have to think about the the punishments a little bit but I like the idea at least on a base level interesting idea for a mod I still like we've, we've done a lot of modded stuff there's a mod that basically makes it so that wet nurse's nightmare phase is persistent throughout the entire game. So there's this dark black fog throughout the entire game. It's nighttime. Re it makes Bloodborne even scarier. And then you combine that with the aggression mod where you just have enemies that aggro much further than they normally do. So they're all just like chasing you and hounding you down. That was one of my favorite playthroughs that I've done, combining those two things. It, it really, it really showed off. Like, when I tell people Bloodborne is the best horror game ever made, they're like, Bloodborne's not a horror game. Then you, you tweak a little thing, just a couple things, and it becomes just like a nightmare fest. It's great. Oh, with the extra blood as well, too. Not a horror game because people are weird with words, man. You, you know, you know, if you've lived life, you know how many semantic arguments you've probably had with people, right? You know, people, when they say Bloodborne's not a horror game, their idea of a horror game is something that, you know, you walk down a hallway, you hide underneath a bench and something pops out of a locker and gives you a big old jump scare, right? That, that's what people think of. But that's not really a horror game. Like, that, that's not everything that a horror game could be, you know? That Bloodborne is two kinds of horror. Actually, maybe even three kinds of horror. It's, it's gothic horror, it's cosmic horror, and it's a little, it has a lot of elements of survival horror. Every visual instance of Bloodborne ha has horror written all over it. Every single one. Flawless victory. Hey, Susie.
But is it scary? No, Bloodborne has no element of, of scare or fear to it. As these beasts with red glowing eyes and monstrous teeth mixed with like this blood drenched skin flapping demon coming behind me is like trying to like just murder me as I'm walking through a literal river of blood with goddamn blood sucking giant ticks that have more blood in them than freaking 25 humans can carry. No, it's not. Oh, is it scary? Is it scary? We, no, it's not scary. It also has that Britain aesthetic, and Britain is terrifying. Uh, I forgot. I actually forgot something. I gotta go backwards a little bit. Bada big bada boom. Young Charma <laughs> with the 10 month Twitch primary subscription. Thanks so much, Young. The fighting mechanics in Elden Ring have spoiled me. I don't think I'll find any other FromSoft combat enjoyable. <laughs> what? Elden Ring is Dark Souls with a jump button? What? Imagine saying that you can't find, you don't find Bloodborne combat enjoyable or Sekiro combat enjoyable. What? What? You're crazy, bro. Like you're, you honestly, I, you need a therapist. I'm not, I'm, I, I mean that you're, you're just, you're, you're on a bender or something. What, what are you, what are you on about? That hurt. Elden Ring's combat is the best among all Souls games. Yes, it's the best version of Dark Souls combat, but it's not better than Bloodborne in second. Elden Ring combat is very, very simple. Very, very simple. And if we're talking about best combat system, well, that'd be Neo 2. If we're talking about in terms of complexity, anyway. Bloodborne has the best lore. That is undeniable. Absolutely. Are seven blood vials enough? Yeah, prop. Oh, wait. I gotta go get the uh, the whirl gig saw. Meow. Oh, there's another weapon I need to go get too. I forgot. Oh, there's actually a bunch of weapons that I need to go get. Oh my god, it's okay. Alrighty then. Good thing I remember just now. So for this one, you know what? I'm just gonna go back here. Yeah, I forgot a couple things. I think I like Bloodborne and Elden Ring lore equally. Wrong. Incorrect opinion. Yeah, I got the boom hammer. 
I also got that boom mana baby babes that make me think the wrong thing. Uh, I'm probably gonna die here. 28k is nothing, so. They should have added more guns to Bloodborne. A semi-auto would be nice. What? A semi-auto would be nice? Bro, you have... The, the pistol is semi-automatic. What are you talking about? Okay, I just gotta go and get the other weapon. No rocket launcher? I, there's a cannon. I mean, that's about as good as you like. <laughs> the cannon is sick. Is the cannon any good? Oh, dude, it's super good. I, it'll take if you're if you're the appropriate level and you level it up, it'll take out a large chunk from most from most bosses. The fully auto cannon rules. If you guys don't know, there's a glitch that's called cannon writhing, where you basically use a cannon and you're, you're like humping the air, and you get infinite infinite uh, cannon balls as long as you do it the right way. It's pretty nonsensical and hilarious the first time you see it. All right, you can kill me. Here's a full run with it. Thanks, man. Aren't you the one that found the glitch? No, but because I posted about it on Twitter and my tweet had to be, it, it happened to be the, the tweet that got like the most exposure, like the most likes and retweets or whatnot. A lot of people thought that I found it. And the, like a lot of, a lot of the, the, the low level speed runners, not the really good guys, but a lot of the low level speed runners in Bloodborne who hate me, they got like super mad and offended that people thought I created it. Even though I never once said that I did. Well, until, until I knew that they got mad of it. And then I started saying it. Just to piss them off. <laughs> but no, I, 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 I don't find anything. The only, the only things that I've, I've found are basically like strats for bosses. And, and little, little speedrun tactics. Stuff like that. Oh, I, I, I don't. I already did this. Let's just go back. Like, um... Okay, the most significant speedrun tactic that I found, I call it orphan baiting. You ever see uh, anybody like healing or using an item or like scratching their butt to get orphan to jump over them so they can get an easy backstab? That's, that's, that I, I found that, I created that. So also like the current best way for dealing with the hardest boss in the chalices, Defiled Watchdog. I found like a repeatable limb break strategy for that as well as like other little things like how to like in the glitchless category the no quit out category how to how to avoid the call beyond from uh, Yuria or Yuri in the in the Bergenworth Hall whatever that is using um, using three mollies on the the crystal lizard instead of two and and four attacks that saved all of a second it's just like little things is little things for the most part. That's the reason they call me the Master Orphan Baiter. Wait, Zeus, when did you get verified on Twitter? As soon as I paid Elon Musk eight bucks, bro. Easy. Get 
get on my level. Bought, paid for. Got him. And the first hitless run Hayes used suit Hayes This used man pays suit for Hayes Twitter. Used suit Hayes used suit yeah, Hayes yeah. Used suit chair oh, it's, it's so. T oh my God, you you would pay for a service and a platform you use. Oh my God, why? why it's like subscribing to Twitch streamers. Why would you do it? It's free. Twitter Blue is literally. You ever you ever type a tweet and there's a there's a typo in it. Yeah, I'm not going to ever have typos again. That's why that's why I have it. Literally let me edit my teat and my teats. I want to edit my teats. Zoltan the Airman with the 12 month resubscription. Thanks, Zoltan. Enjoy your golden aura. Enjoy your big black Z because you have ascended. Thanks for the whole year of support, you absolute legend. You forgot the 8 bit music? Oh, it doesn't matter. The, there's, there's no music. <laughs> I, f I forgot that I was, I was going to be playing in easy mode with a sock lever. Zeus beating this boss so easy makes me cry. Took me days. Damn it. <laughs> Was thinking about trying Sifu. Any opinions on the game? Uh, it's, for me, it's way too repetitive. I think I would have liked Sifu if the areas were like procedurally generated and different each time. But the game sort of makes you fight the same stuff over and over and over again. And it just, I just kind of wanted like, I just kind of wanted to get past the normal enemies and get to the bosses a little bit easier. Like in Souls games is really cool because you know, you, you can run past most of the normal enemies, right? But in Sifu, it, fo it forces you to fight a lot of them. A lot of them you can skip, but a lot of them you can't. And it got, it got boring. What would you say is the max level you should be at at the end of your first new game? Like 40, 45? If you're, if, if you're not like leveling up a little bit of arcane, if, if you're going, if you're leveling up a little bit of arcane, like, you can add on to that with as many arcane levels as you want. But level 55 in this game with a saw cleaver is overpowered for a regular new game. You can see I'm just destroying things. I do way too much damage. Ford with the seven month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks, Ford. Now, yeah, if you're not using buffs, it could be higher. But if you're using buffs, yeah, 40, 45. Don't you think overpowering bosses is fun? No. If you're adding an element of time to it, where speed can get you killed, and like being 
not leveled up can get you killed because you're at low HP, then it could be fun because it's, it's glass cannon. But if you could take four or five hits from a boss, you're not dying. There's no challenge to it. I play games for the challenge. Madeira, what's good? Everything. What blood gems are you using? I'm using the one in the room to the right of One Reborn, before One Reborn's boss room. And I'm using the one to the left of the pigs before Wet Nurse. And I'm also using the one down the elevator before Wet Nurse by the Winter Lanterns. Wow, I thought she would um, transition there. Got her. How did that hit you? Uh, you know, in NASCAR, the, the type of fuel that they use actually burns invisible. Like, you, you're on fire, but you can't you can't tell that you're on fire. It's, you can't see it. So they, they started adding a colorant to it so you could see when things are on fire. Maria essentially has that. You know, the accelerant lights up and hits you before you could, you, before you could see it. That's, that's at least how I explain it. <laughs> Yeah, Maria's a good person. Hey, Mr. Sprinkles. What I really love about From Software games is that if you die to a boss or die anywhere, it's 99% your own fault. Learn from it and get better. Yeah, obviously no game's perfect. And obviously sometimes you die and, you know, the game, maybe the hitbox is a little wonky, right? But most of the time, it's your fault. Most of the time. And I love that. They're fair games, they're balanced, and they could play, be played in a way that makes them difficult. How was your holiday and New Year's? Uneventful, but fine. Got the day off work, so I'm going to chill here for a bit. Ooh, fun times. Interesting that Maria killed herself because of what happened at the fishing hamlet and not because of what she did to all those people in the research hall. Very good observation.
You know what? I'm gonna go back. I need I need some bulk paper anyway. This game's visuals are so beautiful. To me, it's still the best looking game in terms of art direction and atmosphere, creativity. Oh, I gotta go, hold on. I gotta go somewhere else before I go here. Do you have to do all the chalices? No, for the trophy, you don't need all of them, actually. Um, most of them, but not all. Slap! Back to back. Oh no, my booty! Give me my booty! Okay. Hello! Uh, whew. I thought he would die. He had one HP left. <laughs> oh, well. Those fish are way too OP. They're really not. They're really not. They're, they're, it's, I, I, I think this encounter is awesome. Have you ever fought some of the unfinished bosses that are in the glyph chalices? Yes. I did too much damage to him. I wasn't able to get that visceral and my strat just fails after that because he just starts walking away and you just can't do enough damage to that first one. The second one is a lot weaker. 
But that first one. Oh, I need some. I need some bullets. Zeus, how long after discovering Twitch and streaming did you start streaming yourself? I think it was about. It was a few months, four to six months. Because I ended up. I ordered a computer. I practiced Bloodborne. I practiced H1Z1. Decided which game I was going to play. Also started to interact on Twitch. I'd say four to six months. Perfect. That was not perfect. <laughs> oh God. There we go. All right, took me long enough. So there's a timeline where Zeus is an H1Z1 streamer. Oh yeah, I would have been a much bigger, more popular streamer if I had chosen that. Because I would have played H1Z1. I was good at H1Z1. I dominated it. I would have played H1Z1. I would have switched to PUBG. Got an even more popular. Then I would have switched to Fortnite. And you wouldn't know who Ninja was. You would know who Jesus Here's Toast was. I literally would have been the next Ninja. But unfortunately, I was stupid. I love From Software games. So I played th these instead. Dum da dum dum. Would have been a blue beard, not blue hair. Exactly. I'm glad you went for FromSoft. Yeah, I I'm obviously just joking. Do you think you had been nicer with God of War? You would have been more welcomed by the God of War community? No, I don't I don't respect any person who's going to dislike me because I don't like their favorite video game. <laughs> like who the frack like even even if I tell you that like dude, you're a moron for liking God of War, like so what? Like who cares? Like like what am I like come on. <laughs> who the, that my and that that's what the people don't understand about my channel is that you, you're the problem. People can dislike video games. It's fine. No, no big deal. It's, it's a video game, bro. Who cares what I like and dislike? If you like watching the stream, if you like watching me play certain games, watch me. But the amount of people that need me to be directly in line with their likes and dislikes is just, it's asinine. I love God of War 2016 and Ragnarok. Zeus can say whatever he wants. I still love him. I like movie games. Sue me. Yeah, I mean, I wish I could sue you because you're in part the reason that people like me can't experience games that I love on a regular interval. So you suck, but yeah. That's social media in general. It's not social media's problem. 
It's 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 a cultural thing. I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not in love with my country's current culture personally. It's not really even just my country. It's it's the whole world, right? Scooch. Oh wow. Okay. That was a very interesting hitbox there. What are you gonna do? Go through. Hit him with the backstab and the double double. Okay. Not a very good start, but we can fix this. Bait him. Backstab him. Easy. Scooch. Watch out for the Ginyu pose. Of course he does that. Non-backstabbable during that move. Got him! I'm faster than you, you winged baldy! Not that time. What goes up must come down. Denim jeans with a 12-month resubscription. Enjoy your golden aura. Enjoy your big black sea because you have ascended. Thanks for the whole year of support, you legend. Too many blood vials used. Start over. I'd be the first to admit that that fight was not good. Not to my level of expectation. Ah. Sweet child, of course. Returned to the ocean. A bottomless curse, a bottomless sea, accepting of all that there is and can be. My wife hates this boss because it took me so long to beat him. So much screaming orphan drove her crazy. <laughs> What's that little song from? Uh, Dragon Ball Z, one of the interludes during like the Boo Saga. Let's just get some more stuff first. Let me go get Alfred. Oh, the D-pad didn't work there. Damn. Took you two hours to beat him on your first playthrough? Oh, two hours? That's it? You were overpowered. Next, you gotta do a BL4 run and beat him to make up for it. You're only spending two hours on Orphan, you're OP. You need at least, if you're not spending at least two days on him, you're too strong. Orphan took you four days, appropriate difficulty level. You'll never forget the, the you. I guarantee you'll never forget the feeling you got when you finally beat that ass. You summon for him. That's a ten minute timeout. Yep, that's easy. Kwazunagi with the thirteen month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks so much, Kwazunagi. Hope you're doing well, dude.
Love when you do these runs, bro. Hope they aren't too draining. Oh, I've been playing Elden Ring for a month, so it's nice to get, uh, play some Bloodborne right now. At this point in my streaming career, Just what is like, I have, you know, I, I could play Bloodborne, I could play Sekiro, Elden Ring, Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1 through 3. I could play, even if I wanted to, it, it probably wouldn't do well numbers-wise, but Neo, Neo 2, Thymesia, you know, I could play, if I, if I wanted to hate myself and get pissed off at the world, I could play Dead by Daylight. You know, I, I have a lot of games that I could sort of focus on. It's not like how it used to be where I had to play Bloodborne. Otherwise, I would make zero dollars. So we're, we're, doing, we're doing better when it comes to that. And that's because I've spent the past two years trying to get my channel to the point where I didn't need to play Bloodborne every single day. It took a long time to get to this point. Is there anything else that I need to get? I forget. I think we're good. Okay. Really good first phase and then I blew it. Oh, okay, he just gave, wow, that was easy. Thank you. Oh, I need a I need to do Lawrence. Oh. Okay, we'll do Lawrence. It's fine. There's actually a bunch of things that I didn't do. No, chalices do not scale with the new game cycle. Triple eight, baby. It's all about the game and how you play it. Finally, Bloodborne. Finally, Faisal. Where have you been for the past three and a half hours? Dude, if, I, if you guys didn't remind me about Lawrence, I would have never have done all this. I would have had to do the DLC again. Oh my god, that would have been awful. Chat was actually helpful today. Nothing Give me a blowjob. 
Give it to me. Thank you. Good blowjob. Quick, but good. The Feast of Gratia. Um, here we go. <laughs> oh, come out. There we go. Bro, what are you doing? Oh my god, he's there. This guy's a champion, but I'm better. Android with a 26 month resubscription, that Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks so much, Android. Oh, he just teleports that to my pocket? How very convenient. You love the church pick? It's one of my favorite weapons in the game. It's really brutal when you when you spike people. I got the instant pickup on that, too. Did you ever do PvP in Bloodborne back when it was prop popular? A bit. Bloodborne PvP suffers from two things. Latency on the servers and uh, gun spam. Gun spam. Like, people, like, you could, you could just spam the gun so much. I'm not really a fan of it. Not really a fan of it. Now, is there anything else that I missed? I don't think so. I hope not. I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh, Lawrence. Oh, how could I forget? Bro forgot Lawrence twice. Who you find better, Millennia or Orphan? Orphan. Orphan, Orphan births himself. He gives, Orphan gives himself a C-section out of his dead mother. Stands up, turns around and hits you with his own placenta. I, I mean, come on. Itchy kneecap with a two-month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks, Itchy. Lawrence is forgettable. Cleric Beast 2. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a great way to patronize literally the best reskinned enemy ever made in any video game. Ima imagine thinking Lawrence is just Cleric Beast 2. When, when you're given two extra phases. Two extra phases. Oh, you're saying Lawrence is way better, but you said he was forgettable. Oh, you're, you seem like you're backtracking here. Mm-hmm. Seems like a little bit of the old backtracking. Mm-hmm. This boss sucks. On the contrary, my friend, it is you who does the sucking.
Yeah, I just walked under his armpit. That's how good I am. Flawless. Victory. Is it its smell of moon? <laughs> Joke of the day. Joke of the day, I'll give it to you. I'd really like to touch your armpit. Luke Copley with a five-month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks so much, Luke. <laughs> will you save for different endings? No, we do this legit. I will. This is, we already beat the game once. So I'm gonna do it two more times. I'm just gonna run to the bathroom real quick. One minute. Are you cold? <laughs> oh, good hunter.
All right. I did I did get some lunch. Eat up some food. Oh, speaking of food, this entire month we are sponsored by Factor. It's a meal prep service. Uh, we have a code down below if you click on the the panel. Gets you 60% off. If you guys want to check it out, if not, no big deal. Time for run number two. Wait, I put the beast and brace root on. Why is it not on? That's weird. Oh, where is this thing? You know what? I'm going to go open up the... The whatchamacallit, it just in case I made any sort of mistake so I don't soft lock myself. Oh, thanks, bitch. Did you wash your hands? Why would I wash my hands? For what reason? Don't you dare say you have a clean dong? Well, it's clean because your mom just polished it off for me. Hey, Johnny. <laughs> Dad, please. Dude, th this pasta that I made, oh, it's so good. It's so good. Mm. It's like the best thing I've put in my mouth in a while. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. What am I doing? What's in the pasta? So basically, all the ingredients are like a little bit of olive oil, uh, some white onions, some garlic. There's a uh, there's a uh, condensed milk, cooked down milk. There's what you call it? Uh, spinach, farfalle pasta. Then I use some Swiss cheese, gorgonzola cheese, pecorino romano, mozzarella, and provolone. And yeah, that's it. Oh, a little bit of red pepper, too. Red pepper flakes. Forgot them. Can't forget the red pepper. I'm going to be doing a cooking stream. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you guys how to make it. I'm going to show you guys how to make it. The amount of times I've heard you see Pecorino Romano was the best. You can't hang with Swiss. I mean... You don't like taste Swiss cheese, if, that, if that's what you're worried about. Come on. Oh, I screwed that up. I didn't think he was doing it. That was my bad.
A little nutmeg brings out the flavors of those cheeses. Eh, that doesn't... That's not... No. No. That's not what I'm going for. How does it work, this glitch? You basically get lucky. But you're gonna see, there's this brick right here. I'm gonna stand on this brick. He's gonna do that. I'm gonna walk forward. I'm gonna walk over here. Now I'm gonna spam my triggers, rotate the camera around as soon as he bites, phase through the wall, and open that. Is that right? Nope. <laughs> it's a little bit to the right. You didn't see the camera? The way I, I do it requires that camera rotation at that specific time. That's just the best way that I figured out how to do it consistently. I almost never fail it. Much better. So it's pure RNG? Yeah, whether you get the attack is pure RNG. The execution of it is 100% is on you. So you just skip the first 20 hours of the game? More like the first 15 minutes for me. <laughs> Day oh, 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 oh my god! Well that doesn't happen too often. Start over. I guess that's a perfect time for uh, some food eating. Lunchtime, boys. How can I look like a beast in the game? So you're going to need just a few things. You're going to need the uh, the rune workshop tool. So you can put runes on. You're going to need to kill Lawrence. Get his and rune. The beast embrace rune. Damn. And then just equip that rune. It actually gives you... It makes you look like this. If you're, if you're not covering it up with some clothes. Pretty sick. If you want to be noodles, I get the milkweed rune and the, the cause parasite. Also, if you, have, if you have the beast embrace equipped, if you use the beast claw, you can, you can use like a special version of the beast claw, which gives it more attacks. Same thing with the cause parasite. You, you actually can use use a weapon. Is milkweed a real thing? Yeah, there's a there's a whole class of plants called milkweeds. The butterflies are actually really drawn to them.
Where do you get the milkweed rune? In the research hall, there's a, uh, a priestess. She has a quest line. Adeline is her name. You gotta finish her whole quest line. You gotta, you gotta get brain fluids and stuff. Murky, mushy brain fluid. Nice bow tie noodles for folly, you uncultured swine. Hey, Dyes, good morning. I mentioned chicken soup with Cholula. Trust me, it's fire. Like, how much... How much Cholula are we talking about here? Come over, make me some. Are you standing? No, I'm squatting. Solar Boy with a 24 month resubscription. Two years already. Thighs of steel, you know it, Moose Walker. Willard Joe with the eight month resubscription. Thanks, Willard. Zeus is just an interdimensional being. I prefer the term fourth dimensional time traveling demon. Interdimensional deem, uh, interdimensional being is kind of racist. Just so you know. There is, he, he, the other guy hit right through his, his buddy. Right through. fracked up, didn't I? Oh, I really fracked up. I gotta go. I didn't get the lamp, did I? I don't think I got the lamp. Oh, I gotta run back the whole way. Gray Fox with the four-month resubscription. Thanks, Gray. Did I get it? I did not get it. What are you going to do? At least we get to see a couple more ladders. Jack, how's it going? Welcome in. That pasta, I know I'm tooting my own horn, but dude, that pasta is so good. It's the best I've ever made it. 
the best. Did it had caviar in it? I've never had caviar. I've never had truffles either. This stuff is like, it's just so expensive. I could barely justify it. I mean, if I'm going to spend $350 on something, it's going to be eardrops. It's not going to be caviar. It's, it's not going to be truffles. It's going to be eardrops. Caviar is overrated. Some people seem to love it, man. So, you know, it might be like a taste thing, right? Truffles, though, I I could, I could, no, truffle oil is a scam, okay? Do, do not base, do not base your liking of truffles on oil. Like, truffle oil, for the most part, is just an absolute scam. A lot of truffle oils don't even contain truffle. Like, it's a chemical that they put in, right? Now, there are real truffle oils, but if it, they're not super expensive, they're probably not real. Um, with that said, like... I'd probably go insane for truffles. I probably would. Because I love mushrooms. I love everything Italian. They look good to me. I just... It's literally $350 to buy one ounce of truffles. So... I don't really see myself doing that anytime soon. You know what I mean? Real truffles are amazing. Yeah. Never ate gold? Oh, no. And, dude, and gold leaf? Like, you could buy... Okay, so there's, like, there's people that go... They get those gold leaf steaks, right? They spend $800 on a steak, right? And, and it has $12 of gold leaf on it. It's insane. Don't, don't buy gold leaf anything. It's not, it's not worth it. It doesn't... It doesn't make it taste better. It's, it's just a waste of money for, for people who probably shouldn't even have that amount of money to begin with. Because if, if you're buying gold leaf steaks, you're a dumbass. Gold leaf is paint. Um, no, it's more like a foil. It's more like a foil. I'm sure, I'm sure that there, there, there might be some some paint version of it but the food the food the food stuff is is foil it looks like a foil anyway do you want to turn around and get that lamp oh god it's so far away now i'll just survive No lamp needed. I think that was a flawless victory as well, right? Hitless!
That was actually a little late. <laughs> and just a ha one half of one second late, look what happens. Screws up the whole thing. I just got ass blasted, didn't I? Yep. Why do the game twice in a row in one stream uh, to let people know that I'm better than them? Because my name is Jesus, here's toast, and I'm better than you, and you know it. Jesus Jacob Friedman. Why are you revealing my real name? <laughs> you watch AEW? Hell yeah, man. AEW got me like totally back into wrestling. Like WWE is kind of painful to watch a lot of times. But AEW, while it, it is missing, it is missing a few people right now because of injuries, unfortunately. But AEW is pretty solid. Yo, Modi with a three-month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks, Modi. Darby Allen's incredible. I like Darby Allen because he's very unique. He's his own his own person, man. Different kind of wrestling style. The Jacksonville Jaguars owner's son is the owner of AEW. I wish my daddy could buy me a football team and a wrestling company. Oh my God. to win. Huh. Uh, Mitch, you're going to have to explain. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, honestly. That That's something I'm not aware of. Oh, Jesus, where did he come from? Vince is selling WWE. I love I love how he gave he gave Triple H like a couple months and was like, yeah, now. That this isn't good enough. We're just going to sell it. <laughs> it's 
So when a team wins the Super Bowl, WWE usually sends them a championship belt. Same with the World Series and such. Since Tony owns the... Ah, oh, I understand. Okay, I didn't know about that. Okay. What do you prefer? Dark Souls 1 or 3? I prefer Dark Souls 4. Let me go get the red jelly before I forget. The ghost of Miyazaki kicking me down. Oh, come on. That's perfect. Technically, his son owns it. Yeah, like you can. He did not buy it. Like his daddy bought it. It's fine. He's doing a good job with the company. It's how it's how the world works. I'm not even disrespecting him. All I'm all I'm saying is I'm a little envious because my daddy didn't buy me a football company and a, and a wrestling company. It's envy. It's pure and simple. I just got uh, booty slapped by a water professor from behind. I like it. All I'm thinking about is having more pasta. That's all I want, man. More pasta. It was so good. I want a beard like yours. So cool. Hey, thanks, dude. With a little uh, maintenance, a little beard care, and the right genetics, a beard like this could be yours. You'd love to get the recipe? Ah. So basically, heat up, I don't know, three, maybe four tablespoons of olive oil, cut up half of a white onion, Saute the onion for 15 minutes. Don't let the onion get brown. You just want it golden. You want to put in maybe three cloves of garlic, chopped really fine, and some red pepper flakes. Saute that for a minute or two. Then put in one cup of condensed milk. Meanwhile, you're going to put a little bit of uh, water into a, into a pot. In two pots, actually. One for pasta and the other for spinach. Maybe, maybe two inches of water for the spinach. 
put the frozen a whole bag of frozen spinach put it in top it with salt pepper and a whole lot of garlic powder like a lot cook that up once the uh put the pasta in for like seven minutes into boiling water Turn the heat down when uh, the the milk onion mixture starts boiling. Then put in your cheese. I use a cup and a half total of cheese, and I use most. I use Swiss cheese. I use gorgonzola. I use pecorino romano, mozzarella, and provolone. Mostly Swiss, and then about evenly distributed from of the rest of the ones, because the other ones are really strong flavored. And then just a little bit of Pecorino Romano. You don't want to put too much in there. Oh, then once the pasta's done after seven minutes, now it's not going to be all the way cooked. It's, it's cooked for seven minutes. You put the pasta and the spinach in the cheese milk mixture, and you cook that for another like five, six minutes. Make sure to add like a couple tablespoons of, of the salted pasta water. And you're good to go. Takes less than 30 minutes. You could play this game with your eyes closed, literally. Yeah, I could. <laughs> Are you the current world record holder of Bloodborne speedrun? No, I haven't done speedruns in a long time, man. They actually deleted the category that I used to speedrun anyway. I think I was, I'm was i still third in that category, but it's not up in the leaderboards anymore. Oh, majestic! Will you ever get back into speedrunning? Bloodborne? No. Another game? Yeah. And before your cooking stream makes you a millionaire? Hey, that'd be cool, man. I'd, lo I'd love to do something like that. I I've talked about this. I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of branching out my content. You know, might as well try, right? Might as well try. Yeah, we'll be doing uh, some podcasts, some pinball, some cooking. Hey Zeus, I'm Italian. Come stai? <laughs> Thanks, Smooth Shooter. It's always nice hearing that. I got that Miko skip to work and got cocky, still died because I thought he couldn't do a call beyond. <laughs> Get wrecked, nerd. Love pinball, wish the good places weren't so far from me. Dude, yeah, I gotta drive 45 minutes just for the nearest arcade. It's kind of crazy. But maybe if I buy enough pinball machines, I could start my own pinball arcade with blackjack and hookers. Jazz Gordon with a two month resubscription. Thanks, Jazz. Ooh, what about a, what about a pinball strip club? Call it Paddles and Peckers. Okay, that's actually hilarious.
If you give me contract of employment, I can be your hooker. I mean, you're probably not nearly good, good looking enough to be one of my hookers. Do you have any idea how many hot moms I have access to? I don't have to pay for that. You need to play Bloodborne? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Um, is there anything else that I need? Not really, right? Hey, Solemn. <laughs> that was way too late. Still got away with it, though. Dark over with a 17 month resubscription. Thanks, Dark. Hey, Kaylee. My mom's not dateable. Yeah, the only moms that aren't dateable for me are moms that have been dead for, like, 40-plus years, because then the decay is just too much. It just sort of, like, disintegrates. And it's not fun for anybody. <laughs> what, dude? You're saying that she can't handle the decay? <laughs> that was a good one. Final chance with a three month resubscription. Thanks so much. Good afternoon, El Nombre. Nice. Terrific shot. 
was a boss battle right there. Was that the first ending? Nah, the second. Miss most of the run, yeah. We still have another playthrough in all the chalices to do though, so. Not too bad, man. Does your first playthrough of Bloodborne exist anywhere? I didn't even know Twitch existed when Bloodborne first came out, man. So no, wasn't a streamer back then. Come on. If he goes behind there, he gets stuck. Come on, Beelzebub. There we go. Good boy. Very good boy. I showed my content to a friend. He was wondering where your name came from. Jesus Christos. I've had different variations and versions of this name for thousands of years. Is Bolt or Fire better against Shadows of Yarnum? Well, so how it works is two of the Shadows of Yarnum are weaker to Fire, and one of them is weaker to Bolt. So Fire is, is better. But with that said, you don't have to stress about it because you're probably saving with, with one extra hit across the entire fight. It's not it's not that big of a deal. That was really close. Last time I saw you play Bloodborne was AGDQ 2018. See you're still playing it makes makes me happy. I just played Elden Ring for a month. It's not like I've only been playing it since then, but I do play a lot of Bloodborne still. This time we're going to make sure we get the, uh, the lamp. Oh, 
Oh, dude, I totally forgot actually about Eileen. What's her face? I totally forgot about Eileen. Is she still going to be there? I got, I'm going to, I got, oh, and I forgot the, uh, the pig badge too. Okay. So let's go back this way. Yeah, I need, I need to kill Eileen and I need that badge by the pig. I forgot about that. Kin are weaker to bolt, beasts are to fire. Yeah, if it's got hair, it's weaker to fire. If it's slimy and noodly, it's, it's usually weaker to bolt. I'm starting to realize that my boy doesn't know that the doll is evil. Slowly informing him via text message. Yeah, you got to do that. Is there something in Bloodborne you want to change? Yeah, I've talked about this. I, th I, I think Celestial Emissary needs a much more powerful, much more cool version in phase two. I think it's, a, it's, it's the biggest letdown of a boss. And I think that uh, some of the chalices could have been cut. Some of the bosses could have been put in different different chalices. I would have I would have taken a few chalices out personally. So she's not there. Okay. She might be beside the. She might be outside the cathedral ward. Well, I, I might just... Mm. Kind of screw that up. I might just I might just go into new game. The next new game. See if she's there, though. You should make a short video announcing the doll's evilness. Yeah, let's, I've said this before, man. I'll, I'll put out that video and my new lore run, and also something that I've 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 kept on the back burner for quite some time now. If there's ever a Bloodborne 2 or a Bloodborne remake or remaster or something. You'll, you'll see some cool stuff from me. Dead angled, baby. What's that smell? Hey Zeus, we don't talk about Bloodborne 2. You all know hey Zeus, that fracking bastard. Why would you mention it? I'm sorry. Digging the stream, first time watching. I was wondering if you also played the Armor Core series. I haven't, but I will when the new one comes out. Yeah, it's it's because I went too far into the forest. She's not there. It's fine. I'm just gonna warp back here one time just to just to double check. Hey, white beard. It's okay. We just gotta go into new game, the next new game, and kill her.
Yeah, I'm really looking forward to Armored Core. It'll be a nice change of pace. Looking forward to seeing what From Software does with a new game type. Yeah, the, so you can, so how Eileen works, you can get her to spawn here. You don't have to open up any gates or anything. You don't even have to talk to her in the beginning, but as long as you, as long as you don't go past, like, the lamp in the beginning of the Forbidden Woods, she'll still be there. But because I went past it, she's gone. So that means we just got to go to the woods. Yeah, but she won't turn up in the cathedral because I haven't interacted with her. Dusty with the six-month resubscription. Thanks, Dusty. Did she leave the world? On like the 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 assumption to me is that she dies to Henrik. P dad ship with the two month Twitch Prime resubscription. Glad you're enjoying the channel enough to resubscribe. Thank you so much. It's essentially leaving the world, <laughs> yeah. She shows up in the Great Cathedral later? No. I mean, not if you interact with her, she doesn't. If you don't interact with her, she doesn't. Even though I couldn't see the boss there because of the camera angle is kind of invisible, it actually makes it easier, just so you know. Do I kill these in a certain order? I always leave that guy for last. The other two, I'll, depending on how much health they have, and depending on who's being super aggressive, I'll, let me go get a, a blue elixir. I'll kind of, I'll kind of switch between those two is what I'm saying. Invisible has become the new optics in math. It's more like a lack of optics in math.
That shadow got clapped. I've had a couple good shadows fights. I also had one where they killed me immediately. Zeus trying not to smile? About what? Hey, Presty. White beard getting ready to gift sub? I didn't even see that. Frack! Hey, first night. Zeus, if you had no choice, would you rather lose your hair or your beard? Well, I mean, I understand the question from your perspective. For me, it's, you're not really asking a question that's reasonable though, because the beard latches onto the chin, grows through the skull, into the brain, out the skull and out the other side. So it's, it's one and the same. Oh my god. Triple seven. Oh, we're getting the one cycle, boys. And the instant warp. Oh my god! One cycle ROM's great. Oh, it's there's nothing better. Done. <laughs> it's going to do this a hundred times, isn't it? It's unskippable.
I've deleted the sword. I've deleted it. It's still going. It's muted. It it does it. Magnus Carlson at chess right now. Uh huh. Well, Whitebeard, thanks for the hundred gifted, dude. Uh, this is not your fault, but I'm still gonna blame you. I really, I have no idea what, what, what. Oh my God. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go crazy. Crazy. Oh, it's still going. Uh huh. Uh -huh. It's still, it's still is going. Still, still there. Still there. It's, it's, it's not letting me skip anything, Brent, man. Oh my God. How do you just turn it all off? You can't hear it. It's done. Oh, okay. Oh, I did it. Oh, I beat it. Why would you turn it off? Maybe I should gift again. You could gift again. It's worth it. Trust me. <laughs> now I know how to stop your power. Oh, well, that was that was the that was the toughest boss. Whitebeard is the toughest boss I fought today. Bar none. Bar none. That. Oh my God, that was rough. Okay, it's over now. It's over. Thanks for the hundred gifted. <laughs> Your battle was legendary. Oh God. Ha! This time he doesn't even get an alert. Ha <laughs> ha, take that. Yeah. Out, outplayed, outclassed, outmatched. Baited. You just got master baited. <laughs> Zeus learned the parry. Oh, let's see if I could. Hold on. 
Yo, Whitebeard, thanks for the 200 gifted subs. Like, in all seriousness, you are a legend. Thank you so much. I'll turn the alerts back. I did parry you. I'll turn the alerts back on. Maybe that fixed it. Maybe that fixed it. We've been dealing with double alerts all day, and I, I wasn't able to fix it before. But hopefully it's done. Thank you so much, Whitebeard. That, that, was, that was actually pretty good. That was pretty good. Wait, do I need another... No, I don't. Okay, I just need to go in. Why indeed? I was really surprised when the third one popped up. Because I was expecting the I was expecting the double overlap. But when that third one came up, I knew something was wrong. The sheer number of alerts triggered. It was around the seventh one I felt my face start to hurt. I've never th that that sub alert is supposed to be a punch in the face, right? Because a hundred gifted subs is insane, but I never expected to take like thirty punches to the face. Yo, was that single or double? The frenzy was in the way. Fluffy Marshy with the eight-month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks, Fluffy. Hey, Patches. And thanks again, Whitebeard. Seriously. Thank you so much. I was supposed to get a hundred Ys. No, you were not. You got... You got more than you bargained for. <laughs> A moment for the ages. That, and the, see, that's one of the things that makes streaming like really awesome, right? Just the the random stuff that happens. You can't you can't control that. Nope, we're still doubled up on on gifted subs and subs and alerts. Sorry guys, Rory just threw up a bit. I'll be I just got to clean it up. Give me a couple minutes.
Sorry about that, guys. She did. She was. She was throwing up pretty bad. She looked uncomfortable. I got worried. Yeah, she's okay. She's okay. Good girl. You know, she's a puppy, so ev everything is like the the worst the worst thing ever, right? She she farted the other day and she was afraid of it. <laughs> what is that? What is that? My, did my butt just explode? What's happening? Why does it smell? Oh my god, this is... Am I... Is the world over? Like, literally, she farted and she ran to me like... Like she was being chased by a, like a, like a mountain lion or something. You got two cats, one of them vomits a lot. You might you might want to take it to the vet, man. If you could figure out which one. Cause it, it might be like indicative of like a condition that they've developed. Cats will throw up more than most animals, but if one of them's doing it more often than the other, it might it might be because something's going on. Can catch us. Yo, Deadly no Rage, one. thanks for the 10 month Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. Girlfriend's dog is terrified of farts. Nice. I got nostalgic, watch a compilation of Daryl Strawberry home runs. Good old Daryl Strawberry. He just slipped on by me. Hey, Chapel Dweller. Oh, it's going all right. Dillinger with the gifted subscription. Thanks, Dillinger. She looks so cute right now. I can't handle it.
white beard now with the 10,000 bits. You absolute legend, you. Thank you, white beard. Everybody at white beard, give them the Jesus suck, please. 200 gifted subs, 10,000 bits. Nice, nice, nice. We still got double alerts, though. He must be a billionaire. Oh, guys, stop sucking. Whitebeard wants to edge. Nautilus, no, no more. He's gonna pop. Not a billionaire if I was. Trust me, guys. Zeus would ban me from too much suckages. <laughs> Am I crazy to think that this game looks better than Elden Ring? Uh, no. The, the aesthetic is, is more visually appealing. Absolutely. It might not have the, the highest, as high a graphical fidelity as Elden Ring. But in terms of art style, I prefer it. Sorry, Zeus, I love Elden Ring more than Bloodborne. I mean, you're wrong. It's probably why you're not a billionaire, Whitebeard. See, if you had if you if you had thought that Bloodborne was better than Elden Ring, all the success you've had in your life would be probably, you know, cubed. Probably cubed. Uh, you're, you're, it's your own fault. Could have been a billionaire. You know, it starts billionaire starts with a B. Bloodborne starts with a B. Coincidence? Nope. Nope. Can't tell if my IQ went up or down after that. Most definitely down, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Happy to help, Jess. Wow.
Meow. Leave me alone, nerds. Jeez. Good old coffee. White beard with the 5,000 bits now. Jesus, this dude doesn't stop. Thank you, white beard. You fixed the ranking? What's your rank now? First live stream, awesome. Welcome in. Rank one. Chapel dweller with the KO Ken times five. Gifted subscription hitting me with a sub cannon straight to the solar plexus, you goddamn legend. Thanks for the five gifted subs, Chapel. Thank you very much. Yeah, there has been a lot of suck today. Speaking of guys that need to get sucked. <laughs> he's beautiful. How did a hype train not start after all those gifted subs? Who the hell knows, man? Twitch as a platform is barely functioning. I, re I legitimately would not be surprised if one day it just ceased to function. Just completely. Like, no streamers could log on. The, the, the managers wouldn't have access to it. It would not surprise me in the least if that had happened. Double kill. How's Rory feeling? She's just licking her crotch. <laughs> I think she's okay. Stokesy boy with the 10 month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks, Stokesy. Boss fight. Well, the the first the first couple chalices, because chalices don't scale with new game, are gonna be super easy. then nah they don't scale the first two are super easy lower thumerian the the difficulty will pick up though You're off, you got work tomorrow. Good to see you. Thanks for everything, White Beard. Dream of the beard as always. Later, dude.
You don't get a single ad as a filthy freeloader? Don't ask me why. That's what I mean, man. That's what I mean. What are you gonna do, though? Love the atmosphere of this place. On your first playthrough, spend hours wandering your da wandering around. It really just... Uh, if you're looking for a maze to wander through... It really, it really foots that bill, doesn't it? You did miss the magic school bus. That was a long, long time ago. In a galaxy far away, Naboo was under an attack. Night thought me and Qui Gon Jinn could talk the Federation into maybe cutting them a little slack. But their response, it didn't thrill us. They locked the doors and tried to kill us. We escaped from that gas. We met Jar Jar and Boss Nass. Zeus, will you try Hogwarts Legacy next month? Yeah, most likely, man. It, it'll, it'll be a, a game that people are going to go crazy about, so I'd be stupid not to play it. It took me 50 plus hours. First playthrough of Bloodborne it was so fun. Still better than Elden Ring. Whoopsies. How many chances that you choose Slytherin? Every day I'm Slytherin, Slytherin. The deluxe edition has three days early access. I mean, they better give me 10 day early access then just because, just because I'm the blood god. Can't wait for you to play Harry Potter for two hours, yell about how stupid it is, then never play it again. <laughs> Should be a good time. Hmm. Do you enjoy the Harry Potter lore? I loved Harry Potter when I was a kid, man. I mean, they're kids' books. Oh, you can smoke people with an Avada Kedavra. There's like dark arts and stuff. You can murk people. I I've read. I've read that. Bearded Ruckus with the two-month resubscription. Thanks for the support, man. They're fine kids books. I think they start off as fine kids books, and then Harry Potter becomes a little bitch. And then they stop being fine kids books. We're just trashing Harry. Voldemort lost to a child. Yeah, the guy who killed like six people in his life terrorized the entire planet. 
Literally the, the most dumb looking villain ever created, too. Yeah, and his scar is dumb. My wife spit out her drink when you said he turned into a little bee. I mean, he does. I he, he does. I, I'm sorry, but he's just a he's he's so self-centered. He sp he spends like two books being a being a little wanker, man. Devs of Devi's a freak with the brand new Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome in. Thanks for the brand new sub. He doesn't even get the girl in the end. Why would he get a girl? <laughs> why, why would anyone want to be with Harry Potter? Oh, come on. He got Jenny. Redheads don't count. That's a joke. All right, where am I going? Wait, where am I? Where am I? I'm lost, bro. What? Oh, there's the ladder. I must have, like, missed it the first time. Did you ever read Narnia? No, nah, I didn't. My favorite kid's book is The Giver. I was also big into Hatchet, and I forget that there's a there's a, a series of books, like when the tripods came or something like that. I forget what they're called, but they're they're about tripods. You read Goosebumps and Animorphs? Those are a little bit younger. But I read a ton of Goosebumps, a ton of Animorphs. No, not War of the Worlds. It's, um... Uh, John Christopher. John Christopher. The White Mountains, the City of Golden Red, uh, Golden Lead, the Pool of Fire, When the Tripods Came. The series of four. Blood Angel with the 66 month resubscription. Thanks, Blood Angel. Lemony Snicket. Yeah, those are pretty good. I, they they trail off, but those are good. I think those are good for young readers because they it exposes vocabulary in a pretty good way. Farmer Fang with the 33 month resubscription. Thanks, Farmer. Nah, I've tried to read Game of Thrones, but I'm just not a fan of his writing style. I'll try again one day. If he ever finishes them, I might give him a go.
he's so long-winded. I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing. You're, you're talking to someone who loves, like, romanticism. So I, 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 could, I could read Mary Shelley, Mary Will Stonecraft Shelley's Frankenstein front to back and be in love with every word of it. But George R. R. Martin is just not very entertaining as a, as a writer for me. I just don't like his prose style. Matilda? Now, I don't think I read Matilda, but that movie, I loved it when I was young. The chocolate cake, dude. I loved chocolate cake when I was a kid. That wouldn't have even been a punishment for me. Yeah, the Iron Maiden. Oh my god. Back when you could bully kids. Oh, that was the best. <laughs> Created character. Matilda's the best sorcerer ever. <laughs> Made my kids watch Matilda. They got hooked up on old school movies now. Old school movies are better than new movies for the most part. They're just far more creative. Everything these days is very similar. All the characters, they have different names. They look different, but they're the same exact people. Yeah, there were a lot of good movies in the 80s. I feel like there is one thing that I missed. Let me just do a double check. Maybe not. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting my roots confused for all true all bosses. I would have needed to pick up that item. Not for this one. That's the difference. How do you feel about the movie Twins with Danny DeVito and Arnold? Bro, I when I was young, my aunt, my aunt was obsessed with that movie. So I watched it a ton whenever I was over her house, and I loved it. Like twins. Last Action Hero, the Terminator 2. What's the one with the, um, there's another Arnold movie that I'm thinking of. Oh, I can't quite place it. There's one more Arnold movie that I was obsessed with. <sighs> Kindergarten Cop. That's the one. Kindergarten Cop, bro. Oh my God. Total Recall, you know, later on in life, sure. 
Uh, I definitely didn't watch Total Recall when I was young. But the uh, as soon as I did, that, that three-boobed woman basically changed my life. <laughs> Where am I? I'm lost. Let me just do that again. What's your best horror movie? That's kind of tough. But I usually go with Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original. That's why I was lost. I wasn't supposed to go in there. Alien is probably number two or number one, depending on how I feel that day. Wrong way. This way. Oh, I like the lighthouse a lot. The thing is really good. I just watched the thing for the first time last year. Really amazing movie. The thing, the thing, and Alien, as well as an, one of my other favorite horror movies, Jurassic Park. They really, sh they really reinforce in my brain the thought that I can't stand CGI and I love practical effects. I think practical effects look so much better. I, I'm just so tired of CGI. Everything looks like a stupid video game. Nothing looks real. You can always tell it's CGI. It's awful. Freaking green screen actors. I'm tired of it. Tired of it. Jeepers Creepers is awful, bro. What an awful movie that is. Hereditary is really good, but it does it stops too soon. Like the build up and everything is is awesome, but it just as soon as it gets good, the movie literally just stops. And I I, I find that's like, I just never want to watch it again, I guess, because there's there's kind of no point for me. But I liked it. I did like it. Definitely does some different things that I could appreciate. I just think the movie just doesn't go far enough. Memento's really good. Yeah, I wouldn't describe that as, like, horror, really, but Memento's a, co a super cool movie. Maybe, maybe you could describe it as horror. Yeah. Seven. Awesome. Seven is so good. I haven't really seen Alfred Hitchcock, honestly. I, I, I haven't gone that far back in time in a while. Favorite comedy, Major League. Hats for bats. Keep bats warm. There's been a new Alien movie just announced. Please don't mess this one up. I like most of the Alien movies. The first and the second ones are the, are the real good ones. Everything else is just sort of unnecessary, but they're not... For the most part, they're not, like, terrible. I think there's one that I haven't seen, though, that's probably awful.
What, what was the last one? It was tragic? What's, what, 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 what was it called? Oh, wait, hold on. I got a ladder tether here. Oh, I went the wrong way. I got to go the other way first. It's okay. There's Prometheus and then Covenant. Yeah, like I didn't hate those movies. I mean, I'm not going to I'm not going to say that like, "Oh, I can't wait to watch those again." But they were cool enough. Oh, the Saw movies are some of the best. I forgot all about the Dude, I love Saw. The first and second one. Saw's good, I think. I mean, you can't really say Saw's not good because it created kind of a, a whole new genre. The ending of the first Saw Man, I did not see that coming. I, I know, it's, it, it was good. It was good. And even the way like the later films make it so that the, the new, like the replacement people, they don't actually understand the code. So they eventually become the targets. I, I think it was done. I think, I think the whole series is mostly done well. Obviously, the, like most series, they start to trail a bit. The needle pit. Oh, dude. How he just throws her in there. Oh, the needle pit. It still gets me. It still gets me. They're like, how are you going to... You, you need us. You need us to... to Because you your number's on the back. And the guy like... What a freaking animal. You want to watch Hereditary? Oh, mid see, Midsummer I think is as close to a perfect horror movie as you can get. Midsummer is is great. It's it's just a great movie. It's so well done in every way. The only the only problem now Midsummer has one problem though. It does it has one real problem. And I'm going to explain to you what that problem is, and you're going to know exactly what I mean about it. Because the entire first half of the movie is nothing but Oh my god, shut up. And I get it. I get it. Like, it, I understand it's tragic. Her sister kills her parents. It's horrible. It, I, I get it. But, like, get over it. <laughs> Rub some dirt on it. Pick yourself up. And go live your life. <laughs> like, I understand I'm being toxic. I get it. But still, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> you know? I just, I just... Just a little bit of crying in the beginning. Let me get a sense for it, and then uh, let's let's move on. 
Or just cry better. <laughs> Oh wait, secrets. Midsummer's the reason I'm never doing shrooms. I mean, I don't think that's mutually exclusive. Maybe just don't do shrooms with like a murder cult. Are there any cosmic horror movies? Um, cosmic horror. There's that Nicolas Cage one, Color Out of Space, based off of the H.P. Lovecraft film. That was pretty. That was pretty trippy. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna reveal it. But if the Color Out of Space has the only thing I've ever seen in a movie that is, in some as a somewhat of a parallel to the One Reborn. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Haven't seen The Void yet. Yeah, Lighthouse is good for Cosmic Horror. It's subtle, but it's there. Hey, Big B down. You seen The Witch? No. The, the V-Vitch? The V-Vitch? I haven't seen that. No, I have seen that. I like The V-Vitch. Really good acting performances. What's that girl's name? I, I like her. She does a good job and stuff. She's got three names, I think. Anna Taylor Joy. Yeah, that's it. I think she does a good job. Later patches, have a good one, dude. Have you watched The Woman in Black with Harry Potter in it? No, I can't say I've seen that one. Yeah, 28 days later is pretty good. Everyone talks funny in that movie, though. Like, they got, like, a weird accent or something. They don't talk like normal Americans. Barbarian is cool. Yeah, it's a new movie. If you haven't seen that one, Barbarian's pretty cool. The, what's the, the, that walrus movie? I like that one. Tusk. Tusk is real horror. 
Tusk is real horror. It the ending is obviously dumb, and that's not how it would work. But it's perfect <laughs> for a movie. It's perfect. Tusk was lame. Mm-hmm. Tusk was lame. Okay. If you think Tusk is lame, I feel like you just can't have fun in life. <laughs> what's what's Tusk? Basically, Tusk is about a guy who gets captured by a serial killer who, whose dream is to have a friend who's a walrus. It doesn't make sense when you hear it, but when you see it, you'll understand what I mean. Tusk was gloriously silly. <laughs> Have you ever thought of doing movie reviews on Twitch? It would require me to be able to watch the movie because like how I like to review things is in totality. In, in totality. So if I was able to like watch a movie and talk about it throughout it, I'd be interested in doing something like that. Okay, you do that with Prime. Yeah, but that's that's a, that's a great way to like say, okay, you're only gonna have ten percent of your your user base watching you. You know. Oopsies. There we go, just spam R1. What am I doing? Hey Justin, welcome back. It's going pretty well, I think. I'm happy. We've just been chilling. Leprechaun in space. Is that Leprechaun 4? My one friend, Jared Vax, he, um, good thing I didn't say his whole name, geez. Um, my one friend, Jared, he and I watched that movie so often when we'd like sleep over each other's house. People who go on their phones during a movie are the worst. I've never encountered someone that disrespectful. If I did, I trust me, nobody in the movie would be enjoying themselves. Trust me. Not a single person until they turn their phone off. I don't, I don't, deal, with, I don't deal with idiots in public. I don't deal with them. You, you do things the right way, or you and I are going to have a problem. No stupidity in public. There's, there's social customs. I, I expect you to adhere to them. It's one of these doors. I watched Avatar 2 at the cinema and had some king's kids commenting the whole movie a few seats in front of me. Oh, just start yodeling, man. Yodel a he who yodel 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 yodel. I'm going to start the yodeling. When Zeus goes to the movies, he latches onto the rafters with his beard and hangs upside down. How did you know?
Did you watch Smile? I thought Smile started off pretty good. I thought a lot of the creepy smiles were really good. But then it fizzled out, unfortunately. What's the worst film you've seen? Well, the only film that I had paid money for and walked out of and got demanded a refund was, I think it was like The Lost World or something. It was like, I, it, was, it was something like that. I, for, I forget, I honestly forget. Land of the Lost. Maybe that was it. Not Jurassic Park. Not Jurassic Park. It was something else. For, I honestly, for it's so long ago now. need those. Worst movie you've ever seen was Borat. Would you believe that? <laughs> Would you believe that I went to see Borat with my grandparents? <laughs> because I didn't know Borat was a comedy. Like, I thought Borat was just gonna be like a straight political, do like, parody or satire. <laughs> I didn't realize it was gonna be quite the movie that it was gonna be. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> I had totally forgotten about that. Oh my God, Borat with my grandparents. Like, in the theater, too. In the theater. Ugh. Good times. <laughs> the true horror. What was their reaction? My gra bo both of them were like, this was not a movie for us. My grandfather probably enjoyed it a little bit more, but my grandmother was next to him, so he couldn't reveal. But I would definitely did not want to see want to see that with my grandmother, dude. <laughs> oh my god, the scene where the, the <laughs> where he's naked and then the the sensor bar is like so huge. <laughs> Oh God. Okay. I'm fine. Boy, it wasn't that bad. It was terrible. Only movie you ever walked out of? Borat? Oh, man. Very nice.
Why do you consider the doll evil? How about you explain to me how the doll isn't evil? Did you play the game? Didn't Ruli Giuliani get in trouble for that movie? It wasn't that one. It was it was the next one. Oh my god, what an idiot. Like he was What what did he get caught with? Basically like trying to get like an underage girl or something? Oh my god. Rudy Giuliani. Ugh. I need a gun. <laughs> Perfect. Oh god, no! My life has flashed before my eyes! Wow, I am terrible at this game right now. This game's way too good, I know, right? It should be illegal to be this good. If the false chalices didn't exist, I don't know if I would have done them. I mean, that's fine. It's optional content. I understand, like, why people might not like it. I mean, it's a labyrinth. It's a maze. You're supposed to get lost and wander and get de destroyed over and over again. I can, I can see why that's not everybody's jam. It's definitely my jam, though. I love all the unique bosses and the items and the enemies. Some of the layouts are just really cool. Chalices were lifeless compared to the rest of the game. So the, the, the labyrinth, the dungeon, the maze that is underground and kept hidden from you because it contains a lot of secrets was lifeless compared to the real world up above. Really? Hmm. Okay.
flawless victory. You mentioned today something about the strat invented for this fight. Yep, that was it right there, man. That was it. generally don't do well with having to go through a level multiple times i mean you really don't need to you just gotta you just would need to approach it a little bit different way get shining coins and put a put a shining coin down every path you go down so you know you don't have to go down it again I did not think that was going to hit me. <laughs> My bad. Okay, I'm being way too stupid. want to tell you that every time I'm in a bad spot in life, I can always come back to your stream to enjoy it again. Thanks. Hey, thanks for coming in, man. Happy to help. All bad times are impermanent. They always pass. As long as you let them. You're six hours late, Rashike. I can't believe you've done this. That's an ad. Thank you. 
Does Bloodborne have the best DLC in any game? I certainly think so. It's perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. You really do love the DS3 DLC? I do as well, but DS DS3 DLC has those stupid angels. And just for that reason alone, Bloodborne is better. <laughs> No, you're not allowed to think DS3 is your favorite. You can't. Bloodborne does not have anything that bad in them. Bloodborne also doesn't have half light. So, like those are those those are negatives. Those are negatives. Bloodborne has no negatives. Angels are so easy after the first playthrough. I don't care if you can get past them or not. They're annoying. They are annoying. <laughs> oh yeah, the world's awesome. And a lot of the bosses are really cool too. Medir, Gale. What are the other ones? I forget. Demon Prince. My only issue with Demon Prince is one of my favorite fights, but in first phase, they shouldn't be allowed to, like, go inside one another. They're constantly hitting through each other, and it's just... I really hope the next generation of games stops having multiple bosses that literally go inside each other. Freed is awesome. First and second, first and third phase are, is awesome. Second phase is a letdown. Okay, we both whiffed there, huh? Got me good. I, I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't play very well there. I deserve that. DS3 is your favorite. Wrong. Bloodborne's your favorite. Sekido's number two. Bro, I can't hit a parry to save my life right now. I mean, well, that's the easy one. Bro. I'm actually playing terrible against him. Weird energy with a five-month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks, weird energy. Wow, this is gonna suck. Here's my quick parry. There we go. Caught him at the end.
That guy's got very tough parry. Took me a while to remember it. It's always quicker than you think it is with that guy. He moves very, very fast. His parry window's tiny. Yeah, and it's earlier than you would expect because he, he just physically moves faster than most bosses in terms of his swing speed. The insight, though, it's nice, isn't it? Good catch. Do you still game standing up? I do. Wouldn't make sense not to. Every streamer who is sitting is literally ruining their life. Literally ruining their life. You're setting yourself up. You're setting yourselves up for being 40, 50, 60 years old, whatever, however old you are now, and being in a bad state, state physically. You play standing against bosses, you feel your concentration is better? Oh, I definitely feel the same way. You stand for gaming too? Good, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not just making it up. You could, you could look it up. You know, it's, it's based off of science. They say that sitting eight hours a day is worse for you than smoking. Hey, Marianne, how are you? Your back is terrible. Physical therapy. Go physical therapy. Don't don't do what I did and let things go. There are de there are stretches that you can learn to get yourself back to how you should be. I wish I had gone earlier. I don't know how office people can sit all day. Me neither. It's great to see you, Marion. Oh, wow. That was a good hit. The worm! Scotty too hotty, baby. Oh, jeez. He slapped me in the face with that big fang. Oh! I disagree with that hitbox. He's chasing me down. Ooh. Ha -ha. Wow. I never knew he had a follow up to that. I feel attacked. You have to sit all day at work. Why do you have to, Rashike? Why do you have to, man? Unless you're like a driver. Can't stand due to being in a wheelchair. Well, you know. <laughs> I'm just okay. <laughs> no hit. At work, you rotate standing two hours and sitting for one. It's better, at least. Try to rotate that sitting out of the rotation, though. It'll be even better. And you'll get a nice ass like me. Oh, dude. 
I always get compliments on, on how juicy my booty is. Everyone's trying to get a piece of it. I don't even have to... I do a few squats. And just stand all day. I got that thing. I could come up with a stagger lock strat for this boss. Probably not, maybe a total strat, but. If you could have a Bloodborne boss as a pet, who would it be? Maria. Correct answer. <laughs> the man eater boar. Although after Lance's tweet earlier, you know what? You got me there. You got me there. Later, Black Goatee. What about the doll? I was told Bloodborne Boss. That was the qualifier. Oh, I have no beast blood? That sucks. Sucks. 
I shouldn't have gone for the fourth. Who's the baby crying? Murgo. Let's go get let's go get a beast blood pellet. Actually, it's Gehrman, not that baby. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're so nice. You're so oh, thank you. Thank, oh, thank you so much. That's a big baby. Yeah, she's done growing, though. She's a forever puppy. She's in love with you. I need someone who'll look at you the way she looks at me. Want to get a dog so you have a partner to go on long walks through the Scottish Highlands? Do it, man. Just, just do a little bit of uh, searching online about like what you need to do. To have a dog. How to train it and whatnot, what to do. A lot of people don't take that step. Because the first the first year of having a, having a dog is not usually the easiest, especially if you you haven't trained one before. But there's a lot of resources online completely available to you for free, from many different sources that'll show you exactly what you need to do. And if you ever need any help, you could always ask me too. Not like I'm some sort of supreme authority, but I've I've been able to train her fairly well for being my first dog. You know, I never realized that for that AoE attack, she actually clutches her baby. Huh. That's, that's... I never realized that before. That's a nice little detail.
He never took care of her. She was uh, afraid of him. Who are we talking about? My kitty who wasn't technically mine, my ex took her once our lease was up. I knew he was bad news. He only came to my stream like once. I knew, I knew it. Mm -mm. I was I wasn't gonna like get in the I wasn't gonna like say anything, Marianne, but yeah, I I I, I could tell a mile away. Can the player do something with that stone? Yeah, show it off. He only paid for her adoption fee, that's it. I bought the food, I fed her, cleaned her litter box, she always ran from him. I could eat his head if you want me to. <laughs> How dare he take the kitty. need ritual blood fours, right? Yeah. I need two more. Come on. What's left of the run? Uh, just a couple things. I need to get the Beast Claw, and then I need to kill Eileen and get the Blade of Mercy from her. And that's it. How do you make your beard look good? So I wash it, I shampoo it and condition it every time I take a shower, which is usually every day. And then I let it dry and then I put beard oil in it and I, I, I brush it. So it, it gets into a nice shape. Brain Blood Born with the 11-month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thank you so much. I also tr trim all the sections that, like, grow wildly. But in early beard development, I always tell people to let their beard grow longer. It's got to look a little scraggly sometimes in order for you to get good good amount of growth on it. 
Because a lot of people end up cutting or trimming too much. You know what? Screw you. I think it's through the rats here. It's been a while. What beard oil do I use? It's the company's The Blades Grim. I get it on Amazon. And I use the Smolder flavor, I think. Let's see what's in the chest. You got the beast claw. Nice. Do you have plans to stream the Demon Souls remake again? Absolutely. So we just got to end the game one more time, then go get Eileen. Come on, Eileen! We should be good after that. Let's just, let's just make sure real quick. I had 78% before, right? Cool. Now we have 85. Good. Good hunt now. You will. You will from this. Farewell, fear. That gets you every time. Crucible Knight is killing you in Elden Ring. <laughs> Watch out for the double tail swipe. Predator God with a 16 month resubscription. Thanks, Predator. The tail swipe kicked your ass. Dude, there was just a clip of me like the last time I played. I, I was like to Crucible Knight, you can't hit me because I was three and a half miles away from him. He spun his tail and smacked me in the face and killed me. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't realize I could go that far. <laughs> Oh, they're growers. And they're showers. That thing starts off big and gets bigger. Freaking unrealistic body expectations, man. Sec Honestly, Elden Ring is so full of unrealistic body expectations. The Crucible Knights, the Godskin Apostle, Ronnie. Jesus Christ, male or female? You, you, you're never approaching how good Elden Ring characters look. No matter who you are. Darkwood with a five-month resubscription. Thanks, Darkwood. Hiya, Zeus. Hey, the nuts.
Farewell, good hunter. Einungar with the two-month Twitch Prime resubscription. Glad you're enjoying the channel enough to resubscribe. Thank you. So many subs today. New subs, resubs, bits. Thank you, guys. I deserve it. We almost made an entire stream without an egotistical comment. I, I had I had to drop one there. Do you like Elden Ring? Oh no, I love Elden Ring. I also hate Elden Ring. <laughs> That's just how I am with it. Like the game is amazing. There are some there are some aspects of it that infuriate me though. Fire giant, Elden Beast, the entire snow area that never ends. That Ordina town. The weapon combat system in general. All the easy mode gamers that are allowed to go through it. The magic, the, the mimic tears, the, the summons, the ashes of war. But aside from that, I love the game. I have my gripes. feel that way about all from software games yeah but bloodborne and Sekiro, you'd be wrong same with demon souls even dark souls ds2 ds3 ds4 have the the most issues for me basically all the sequels are the ones that i think have issues all the sequels You think Papa Gasoline is going to kill him? You want to bet on it? How much we betting? I wasn't planning on fighting him. But if you want to make it if you want to make a gamble, I'll make a gamble. I don't have bits man, I'm broke. <laughs> Sorry, drunk. I'll string you up like the filthy beast you are. Yeah, will you? I can't go on like this. How long does an all trophy run today? Well, today's took about five, five plus hours. Like the fastest I ever did one was three hours, 16 minutes. Stone cold style. But I've been, I've been watching cutscenes and fooling around. I had lunch and took some breaks, you know, so it takes longer. You just finished watching that run yesterday, actually? Nice. Oh, I missed something. I missed something. What did I miss? Uh-oh.
What am I missing? Maybe it's a pistol? I mean, I know I sold some things. That doesn't matter. No, I have the cause parasite. I sold it. That doesn't matter, though. Or maybe it... I don't have the wooden shield. That's what it is. Ah. I forgot the wooden shield. Of course, it engenders passivity. Of course I would forget that one. So the quickest way would be to get the emblem and go all the way around. Oh my god. Well, I guess you guys got some extra stream out of me. Looks like we're fighting Papa G after all. That's... Mm. I have, to, I have to do it for free, too. That's the worst part of it. Can't you buy the shield? I don't think you could buy it. Oh, that's true. I could just get I could just get the shield right by the gate. Good call. I already have the emblem though. I don't need to go around. I just figured out you can type the names of emotes and they automatically go in chat. Hey, you know, we, are, we there's lots of things we don't real Oh my god. There's lots of things we don't realize. Have you tried being better? Well, the first time I was with your mom, she asked me to, you know, step my game up and I did a lot of research. I hung out with your sister a lot. She taught me what your mom likes. And now every time I'm with your mom, she doesn't ask me to get better anymore because I rock her world every single night. She ain't nothing but a hound dog. Welcome back, Mitch. First time chatter is the first thing I heard. Yeah, we, we make uh, mom jokes in art form here. Okay, this is this is getting ridiculous now.
Of course. Uh, Should have just went around. Would have been done already. Should have just went around. But no. No, I got to do the skip. What did we forget on this run? The wooden shield, believe it or not. Customize with the 29 month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks, customize. That should work. Do you remember the load times when this game first came out? Bloodborne. <laughs> yeah, I remember him. Oh my, okay, dude. Okay. How is this, how is this failing? <laughs> You're a bad omen. Freaking Moog over here. It's stupid that the wooden shield is classed as a weapon. I know, right? I mean, you can bonk people with it. There we go. First try. Easy peasy sewer skip. I'll edit that in post to make it look like the YouTube video I got it first try. The octopus from space with a 23 month resubscription. Almost two years? I know. Crazy times. All right, that one guy before said uh, he bet me $100 that I couldn't beat Gascoigne. That's what he said, right? He might have been right. Oh, what's that smell? The sweet blood. Oh, it seems to me. It's enough to make a man sick. If you beat Gas Queen, I will keep watching. Seven hours in and Gas Queen's dead. What? This is my. This would be my fourth playthrough of the game today. That's exactly how I sound. Oh, I know. How long have you been growing the beard? Oh, I trim it a ton, man. So like, there we go. You know, I've I've had I've had a beard for years. No intention of getting rid of it either. Best platinum ever. Hey, we did it, man. We did it. <laughs> 